Hey everyone! Hey! <laughs> We're the Nintendo Power Couple. Welcome to Funsies in Our Onesies Woo! Live! I'm Felia! And I'm um, Danny. We are so excited. Today we're going to be playing some Diablo 3 uh, with our viewers. So if you have Diablo 3 and you want to play along with Felia, you are going to play Adventure Mode today. If any of our winners, yes. our 10 winners of Diablo 3 provided to us by Blizzard, the last two weeks, if any of our amazing win winners are in chat and here right now, you better get your butt here and <laughs> jump on and play with play me. Play some Diablo. <laughs> um, we also have a giveaway today. We have four copies of Switch Player Magazine. I think I could do it without the light. Um, this has our, let me go to where the interview is. It has a nice interview with us um, done by uh, the Switch Collector, Jonathan four Poland. Four pages, two spreads, <laughs> lots of questions that we answer. So during the stream, we're going to be giving away four copies. Uh, we're going to try to give away a little differently today. It's going to be a keyword um, giveaway. So once I tell you what the word is, you guys have to hit the keyword in chat. Mm -hmm. We'll roll and it'll pick a winner out of that. So if you don't want the magazine, you don't have to like, so at least the way we pick people who want a yeah. copy of the magazine. Yeah. Yeah. We wanted to make sure. Um, <laughs> but you all want one, right? Yeah, right. Because it's, it's, it's awesome. It's actually a really cool magazine. Yes, there's um, lots of um, game reviews in there. Yes. And there's developer interviews. Um, it's really, really uh Especially for really collectors. Cool, yeah. I think Jonathan any... Poland does a lot of collector corner stuff in here too, where they show off like collector's editions of Switch games. So if you collect Switch stuff, it's really good to any check it gamer, out. <laughs> any gamer, any Nintendo gamer, I think, would really like yes. it. <laughs> so, so to start with, uh, I see Looter Master. Hi, I see some people. What's going on, in. guys? Um, well, the first thing we want to do before we jump in, we want to talk about uh, what everybody's talking about today. Detective Pikachu trailer dropped today. He's so cute. Uh, Detective, right? Detective. I know. Pikachu. After seeing the trailer, I kind of wish our Detective Pikachu um, amiibo was, was furry. Yeah. Wouldn't that be amazing if this was furry? That would be amazing. I have to painstakingly add fur onto this guy. I saw earlier <laughs> before we started, Lee was saying that he wants a uh, Detective Pikachu plush. I cannot wait till they do that. That would be really cool. Just imagine um, Ryan Reynolds yelling out of this guy. I, <laughs> Dripple says the voice in Spanish is amazing. We'll have to check out what the um voice oh, in spanish yeah. to watch the spanish trailer uh game informer cliff what's going on Hi. welcome we are just about to talk real quick about detective pikachu um so what were your thoughts about it before um, we begin i know a lot of people were like <laughs> it's very polarizing some people love it and some people are not too happy that it's like dark and uh nightmarish <laughs> <laughs> but i actually am really excited yeah like, uh, we watched it this morning, um, and a suit, like, within the first couple seconds, I was like, yeah, I cannot wait to see this. I really like that they went with a darker tone. Yeah. Because I feel like everyone who, wa like, grew up with the Pokemon series um, when it first came out are older now and probably could appreciate, like, a darker, more realistic um pokemon world so i think that's really cool but i totally understand those people out there who are like it's kind of like nightmare spooky fuel. and nightmare <laughs> fuel because especially for like younger gamers as well it's definitely kind of intense yeah. especially like the color palettes and the kind of mood that they create with it yeah um but i'm really excited for it well we never played detective pikachu on the 3ds um i think <laughs> we had so many other games that we wanted to play like when with the switch that the th we kind of put the 3ds on the back burner i'm kind of hoping that with detective pikachu being a next summer type of movie i think it's may um, I'm hoping that we see Detective Pikachu uh, ported to the Switch. That I would, would love great. to see yeah. Switch owners being able to play because I would love to go through the story. But then the um, question is, if you haven't played it already, do you play it before you watch the movie or do you watch the movie and then play it? That's going to be a tough one. Because with Yokai Watch, um, we played the game and then watched the movie. And I think watching the movie was a little disappointing because we had played the game yeah. and loved the game so much. And it had so much more like story and so much like more yeah. character building in the game. Obviously, it's a lot more. <laughs> oh, Akita One, thank you so much for Akita, the bits. thank you for the bits. <laughs> Bit party. <laughs> That's awesome. Um... I I'm reading what he's what he said now. <laughs> I so you're gonna be totally shocked by the high quality Detective Pikachu trailer. Easily the best video game movie of all time already. I'm really hoping so. It's about time we get a good video game movie. Yeah. Um, 
that's not like tainted by nostalgia because I enjoy the Mario Brothers movie just because it's the nostalgic part of it. The movie's <laughs> absolute garbage, but I love but it. But it's also like for kids. <laughs> so as a kid, you pr you don't care. Like as long as it's yeah. fun, you don't care about like story. Yeah. <laughs> like all those things that are important to you as an adult. Um so that's okay. I still love I, that movie. I see. Um, I I think yeah. I see Game Informer saying uh, speculating this, but what if uh, there's a Switch based Switch version based on the movie, like a Switch game based off of the movie? That'd be really cool. Yeah. Um, I do think that we will see something with um Detective Pikachu hitting the Switch. I don't. I think with it being so far, we have Pokemon Eevee and Pikachu launching Friday, a next gen Pokemon next uh holiday season. I think Pokemon's, Pokemon's Pokemon. killing it, yeah. and I would not be surprised if we don't see a port of Detective Pikachu At announced uh, early next year to kind of tie I people see over. I was saying that um, he played uh, P Detective <laughs> Pikachu in Japanese and didn't understand anything. That is impressive that yeah, he very was impressive. able to like, finish po uh, Detective Pikachu in Japanese. Yes. That's amazing. Um, also, so today, uh, real quick... Um, we are hoping for a smoother stream. Uh, Rex of Couple Lumps uh, helped us to give us a whole bunch of pointers over the weekend. Thank you so much, We made much, a Rex. lot of adjustments within our OBS. So uh, hopefully so far things are looking good. Um, and we're going to jump into the gameplay now um, while yes. we talk more about Detective Pikachu and give away some magazines. And, and if, um, if we're having any problems, like it's lagging and chugging along like we were having last week, um, if you guys could <laughs> let us know in chat so we'll know... We'll Take note of what the adjustments we made and see if we have to make any more adjustments. We would appreciate I that. I like Ryan saying, uh, let's all go to sleep to imagine Psyduck, Mr. Mime, or Jigglypuff are watching us sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like Jigglypuff? I thought Jigglypuff was cute. He was a little angry, but I thought he was cute. Okay, so let's jump into the game now. Psyduck is a little nightmare-y, but, uh, but isn't Psyduck always... Okay, let me grab my uh, controller. Okay. Ah! So now, Philia is in adventure mode right now. So if anybody who has the game, uh, we're going to check real quick and see um, who would want to jump in and play with Philia. If not, I'll jump in for a little bit while we continue talking about... Um... I'm doing some jumping. Yeah. Hi, Boo Ghost! Boo Ghost, what's going on? So real quick... Danny DeVito, that would have been awesome to have <laughs> Pikachu. That would have been a great way to um, have that. Charizard is very scary, yeah. Drifles. Absolutely. I love Charizard. He's so cool. So real quick, if there's anyone in here um, that wants to jump on, please let me know because I'll add you in so we can go on a rift together. Yes. Um, and Andy, hi, chat. How was the nightmare fuel? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, so my thoughts on it were, were the same thing as you, uh, pretty much. As soon as I saw, I, I actually liked Ryan Reynolds' voice. Um, part of me was hoping for Danny DeVito, uh, but I actually did think that Ryan Reynolds. I, yeah. I like. I thought it had a nice comical side to it. I loved the whole like when he did Pika Pika in the um, look like the yes. like the food like the craft fair, or whatever that was, the food. Uh, yeah. What do you call it? The food festival or wherever they were at. Oh wait. Oh, um, I thought that was really cool. Um. Yeah, I real I thought there was a lot of cool things in that trailer that got me really excited. I mean, it's it's great to be a Pokemon fan. We have Pokemon Go on our cell phones. We'll have Pokemon on our Switch. We have Pokemon. We're gonna go be seeing it with our friends um, after they have the Black Friday. The Pokemon movie in theaters, the second movie that they have coming out. We have Detective Pikachu next year. So I'm really excited. Um, Lots of good stuff. I like Firelight saying Chicago is itching to jump in, but we're driving on our way home. Uh, yeah, definitely drive safe. Be careful. <laughs> if you get home and we're still streaming, definitely jump on in. Um, I like Akita says you didn't expect the part where everybody else hears Pika Pika except him. I actually really thought that was uh, interesting, too. Because like I said, we didn't play Detective Pikachu, uh, uh, the Game Boy, on the... Uh, oh, my God, Game Boy. <laughs> on the uh, 3DS. I didn't realize it was a type of thing where, like, everybody else hears him as the same Pokemon. And it's, like, only... I thought that everybody heard this Pikachu as the Detective Pikachu. I didn't realize that this Detective Pikachu spoke differently. Only, only certain people could hear him. I'm too, that it's not... Um... It's not like the Pikachu that we know. It's not Ash's Pikachu. It's a different Pikachu. Um, I didn't really, because we hadn't played um, Detective Pikachu, I really didn't know like what the setup was. Yeah, um, I was really surprised. Like. Yeah, but I was glad. Like it's a whole different character. Oh my god, what is happening right now? Oh boy. Uh, so real quick, um, how is our stream looking? Are we? Uh, I'm looking at it on the laptop over here, and to, on our end, it looks like it's going smoother than we've seen it before. Are we going? Is this smoother than we've had it lately? 
Um, because if so, then oh my gosh. it'd be incredible. I totally was not paying attention and I died. Okay. You died? I can't believe that. Resurrect at corpse. Un. Believable. Uh, Eddie Road Dog, it's like Dr. Doolittle, but with Pokemon. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a really good way to put it. Um, okay, I need good. to get Everybody's it Good, looking good. Um, I see I see Andy saying he didn't like the uh, the eyes of Pikachu. Um, you see whites in his eyes. Hey, Juan, welcome. Is it too realistic, like, too, like, a person? Everybody's saying the stream's looking good. So, okay, Rex, great. thank you, Rex. I'll have to thank, thank him again so later, much, too. Rex. Um, so what Rex told us was that a lot of our assets in OBS, we had resized, um, the, the, well, we got rid of the tip jar thing that was there, the bit jar we got rid of, um, and all the alerts that are, that pop up for follows and subscriptions and so on, we had resized in OBS by dragging the bounding box like it was a picture, and he told us that that was, that was, um, gonna affect us. Because it's it's rendering it at the larger size and then rendering it smaller. So he was saying to go in the settings and reset everything, resize everything through the properties rather than on the OBS screen. And that's what I did. And we had fingers crossed. And I'm it glad that it's... to be working. Yeah. We checked our task manager to make sure there was nothing else that was hogging there you know, was our CPU. There was also like uh, HP something or the other that was taking up a lot of... Uh... HP Assistant was yeah. taking up, I think it had 80% of our CPU at one point uh, when I was doing the test. And I said, I hope that, I wonder if that was running while we were trying to do our streams. Even Probably. the laptop, the laptop even sounds quieter right now because it's not like, it's not chugging Struggling. with a fan. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, so oh, I'm so glad. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm so glad that it's looking better. Uh, Cause again, we don't want it to look like garbage. Uh, so let's see. Um, I need some friends in here, man. I know Chicago is um, driving, but uh, do we have any of our other Diablo winners in chat right now? Nice. Let me know. Jump in. Uh, the Game Informer. It's the funny part of the Pokemon came at the same day as Toy Story 4. Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually didn't realize Toy Story 4's trailer came out today uh, until way after the fact. I woke up and I went on Twitter. I saw it was like, it, the first thing on top of Twitter was the official trailer. It, had, it was like three minutes in, and I'm like, three minutes? Like, it, it just launched. Watched it right away. We came out, and we came and watched it on the TV, yeah. and we're so excited. And it just, it's it definitely got me like a, I'm excited for Pokemon. Um, I am too. I think it looks really, really great. And we're excited for Pokemon Go Friday. I can't wait to rep EV, uh, and you're repping Pikachu. Uh-huh. Who is that nightmare guy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, Juan, you're saying you're confused to go where, where to go in this game. Uh, are you? Uh, did you play the? They try to give you the um, points. Uh, the, I guess what is the waypoints? I don't know what you would say. The, the, where you're supposed to head off in uh, Diablo, um, in the single player, in adventure mode. You're. I think you just kind of play and you have to complete the quests. Yeah, basically this is just for like collecting um, wep from the weapons. And, oh, no, 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 no. And, um, I'm money. I like, you're running into more enemies, I think. <laughs> I think we'll have to get you, uh, some teammates. See I who's need a online. buddy. You, got, you gotta check to see who's online. Oh, that's what I gotta invite. do. <laughs> I think I have to kill some of these. Oh, uh, yeah, which character are you playing now? You're the wizard, right? Yes, she, I'm playing Philly's, my wizard. Philly's wizard, I play as Necromancer. I might jump in in a little bit, um... And join you. Um, Wizard is my favorite. Let's see. Oh, fire late. It's snowing by you. Flurries, but exciting. We love snow. Uh, we actually... When you're indoors. When we're indoors, yeah. It's funny. I, I enjoy <laughs> snow more as a kid than now. Uh, we have to drive through work or shovel it out. But yeah. um, we actually kind of didn't make it to our oh um, destination this weekend. We were supposed to go see um, our little nephew and everything, and we ended up driving out to visit them, and what was it, two and a half hours out, yeah. we got stuck in an ice storm on the road. It started icing out, we had salt trucks were out, we were sliding on the highway. Uh, luckily, we were like a mile from the rest stop, so we ended up surviving till the rest stop, waited till the ice finished, and then when we checked the radar map, 
uh, on the phone, we saw there was another snow and ice storm. Like, we were on the cusp of it, like, where our little um, GPS was. We haven't actually traveled that far. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. In the winter time, and um, like I really thought it wasn't that winter right now. Like it hasn't gotten to the point where it's crazy winter yet that we have to worry about like snowstorms and yeah. stuff. So I checked the weather here, and my family checked the weather um, where they are. And everything was fine. And we figured like, okay, we'll be able to get there. And then, oh my gosh, it was such a nightmare. It was so stressful, and, and then, we were sliding all over the place. So yeah. we tried to wait at the storm, but the fear was that with seeing the other storm coming in on the map, if we waited and got caught in that storm, we'd be at a, we'd be at the rest stop all day. So we ended up just turning back around, and so that was five hours of driving uh, for basically a circle. We've been in a circle yeah, and came back home. It was the worst. So um, we're gonna have to try to figure out another a better way to hopefully get out there. Um, now with the with the weather being colder and we're in you know November December time now, it's gonna be snowing more often. So we're It'll worried. It'll be harder now. Yeah. It'll be harder to make the travel. But I'll tell you, like I we do not enjoy uh, ice ice driving. Is scary. Kudos to ice. Uh, road truckers who do <laughs> who that's truckers. who that's their living, but I don't. And then also our car, like we took my car, and my yes. car is definitely not good in the snow. It's just kind of like it's a little car, so it kind of was sliding all over the place. It was a little scary. Well, we even <laughs> the last time for those who have followed us on Twitter, you guys know our uh, oh val gosh, yeah. our Valentine's Day last year was exciting because that's we exciting. had it was the same thing. We drove out to have dinner together. And halfway to the place to have dinner, it was started. Was it at like Valentine's Day or something? It was Valentine's Day, yeah. and and we went halfway, and it started snowing, and so we were like, oh, it's just flurrying, it's fine, and the snow started building up, and we started sliding. We realized that we were sliding on the um on the road, so we turned around to make it back home. But where we are, there's a lot of steep uh steep downgrades to where we have to go to. We found ourselves just like in a tr in the, uh, the opposite side of the road was standstill traffic. They were just everybody was stopped. You couldn't go up and down the hills without sliding out. Or the back we were fishtailing out of the back, and I was terrified because I was driving and I didn't want us to go off the road or hit somebody. Uh, we ended up pulling over into into the side of the road, um, which uh, the person across from us didn't like because that's when I got threatened. Yeah. Uh, which that is was which really is it's intense. it's let me tell you it, it is scary enough to be like trying to drive through the ice and drive through the snow. Uh pulled over on the side of the road cuz we couldn't make it up the hill anymore without fishtailing, so I just pulled over into the shoulder as far as I can. And somebody on the opposite way was screaming out the window to me and then when I opened the window to see what they were saying, he was telling me to move my car even though he was going the opposite direction. That's a nice way of saying it. And I it. yeah, yeah, and I told him that. I was like I was like, "Okay, I was like, I'm going, I'm going." And then I guess cuz he didn't like that I yelled back to him like, "I'm going, I'm going, don't worry about it." He yelled out, that "I'm going to bleep and kill you." Like that was remember that that escalated oh, so quickly. And I just pretty much rolled the window up and hit the gas and went I'm like, "I don't need somebody, you know, threatening me out of a pickup truck." Yeah. Drove back on the road. It was crazy. And then we ended up there was a motel nearby with a Chinese food buffet. It's five minutes from our house. Uh, we just ended up staying at the motel because we could not survive the rest of the way home. Our car was all over the place. We stayed at the motel, had uh, had our Valentine's dinner at the at the buffet, which was good. But and then the next day we finally went home. We were five minutes from our house. But uh, so I so my thing is uh, yes, what a nice guy. <laughs> um, so so for me, it was like once we saw that after we were sliding with this ice storm and seeing that there was snow and ice on the way, I did not want to be two and a half hours from home and sliding on the highway. I, I said it was almost best. Oh, d wants to jump in. He's like, can you invite? Oh, of course. Uh, um, skills cool down. Okay. Let, let me think select. This. And then let me go over there. Invite friends. Oh, I don't see you yet. D-Way's not on. Are you, D-Way, are you... I don't you... see you on yet, D-Way. Are you on? Are you doing a seasonal character, D-Way, or a regular character? I could switch to seasonal if you're doing seasonal. Yeah, let's see if he's seasonal or not. Yeah, Ice on the Roads is scary. It was definitely, like, it's... Yeah, it's yeah, not it it's not rough. fun. So we try to avoid as much as we can to be on the road when it's icy. So as much as we wanted to see our nephew, it was not worth... Uh, Risking. We weren't even halfway out yeah. at two and a half hours in. So it would have been just an insane amount of driving uh, just to hope that we don't get stuck in an ice storm. Um, he's seasonal, so you want to switch to seasonal? Oh, sure. All right, dude, I'll we feel he's right going to switch to seasonal right now. Uh So so far, everybody, real quick, the stream is still going smooth, right? Like we're like we're seeing, like not a crazy amount of lag or anything, right? Are we actually running smooth? 
You want to want me to switch it to seasonal? I'll switch it. I just wanted to see if it would save. If I go somewhere else, like, would it save? Well, I think it saves. I think it saves no matter what. Okay, because I just have didn't want to lose the stuff that I got. Um, so I think you go to quit, quit right? Yeah. Quit, and then let me see if I get seasonal. Awesome Probably butter. Great, I like you. that butter. I love that. I love what? that. It's, it looks like butter. <laughs> oh, Smooth okay. as butter. I'm like, what are you eating? <laughs> it looks good on mobile. So I, well, good. A, everybody, Rex of Couple Lumps is yes, amazing for helping us out. So he much, emailed Rex. us over the weekend with an entire laundry list of things to try out. And he said, hopefully after all these things, it'll be smoother for you. And then it was smoother. Now, well, this was our first test. Um, I'm going to switch more. Uh, X. Press X. X. And then go to, you could do. Okay. Hmm, yeah, level 12 that. or level 26. Uh, maybe I'll do level 26. No, do it's I know? fine. It's no worries. I'd rather play with you guys online than <laughs> just like play by myself. So I'll do Lucifilia. Okay, nice. Uh, let Let's this play this hero. Okay. Then how do I do... Are you in... Uh, let's see. If you go to... Con um... Try can uh, game settings. Game settings. Are you in the campaign D or are you in adventure mode? Hmm. Oh, Game Informer, thank you so much for the bits. I didn't even say that. Oh shoot! Thank you. <laughs> I think we were. I think we were looking at the webcam. Yeah. Um. So let's see. So so once Philly is in, we're gonna start giving away the magazines, and we'll try. Ooh. We're gonna be trying a new way to give away the magazines in our uh, chat. So. Um, so should I go to adventure or campaign? Yeah, because Dway's not in. Auto exec. Hey, Hi. what's going on? <laughs> Welcome. If you have Diablo and want to jump in, he's in adventure. So. Okay, game settings. Let's do adventure. Act one. And are you expert, master? Does it matter? Like, Shadow and I said you could join, but do you need to be a certain amount of progress? Uh, no, actually, you don't have to. You could just, as long as you have a seasonal character, uh, you could join on in. Uh, that'll be really cool. Maybe go to hard. <coughs> oh, Quans one and ca campaign. campaign. Triples, thank you for oh, the bits. Oh, thank you, Triples. You're the best. You chose Team Eevee. You chose right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what about Team Pikachu? Team Eevee. I'm starting massively fresh. But yeah, cool. we I'm down. Yeah, we're still new to Diablo, so we're learning this as we go along. Absolutely. So if you're starting a new character, or if you guys don't know much about Diablo either, Master. we could all still play together. So um, it doesn't matter. Okay, since you're already an expert, I'll go into expert. Yeah, no biggie. And then, so game settings. I'm adventure. an adventure. Click it again. Click it and click one. one. Expert. Expert. And then continue. continue. Okay. And let's see if that works. Maybe that works. And then we'll give away some magazines. Ooh. So if you win the magazine, uh, I think I said it's in our whispers are open. <laughs> so you can yes. whisper us your um, mailing address and we'll mail you the magazine. Um, okay, so we got a friend code. Eddie Road Dog sent you a friend code. Do you want to? Uh, um, yeah, if you want to just switch the screen, I'll jump back into. Okay, I'll go to my... Yep, I'll add you right now. Eddie Road Dog. NPC Danny gets no love during Splatfest, gets all the love for Pokemon Go. <laughs> <laughs> I think, who was it? Was it Was it Nick was telling me that I always pick the wrong teams? Oopsie. 8585. 5-3. 4-3. 5, 1 one And I'll add you to my switch later on. Um, fig, okay, nice. Fig. Okay. Okay, we are now friends, Eddie Road Dog. Okay, so I am in here. How do I do this? So press minus. See if you and can invite then friends. Invite friends. So you could do D ways in there. So you hit here. A. Oh, Chicago. Are you home? <laughs> you can press all three of them. D-Way, Joey, Chicago. Invite. Yep. Invite to yep. party. Then Joey. And then Joey. Invite, invite to party. And Chicago. And Chicago. Invite to party. Should I... Is Kurt in chat? I don't know if Kurt's in chat right now. Well, they're level 70, so I don't Ooh. know if they're playing something like... like insane. Yeah. Okay. Kurt, if you're in chat and you want to join us, 
newbies, we can. So but click back real not. quick, see if anybody joined you. I don't know if. Okay, so I sent invites. They should have gone. Triple, I like Team salsa. Dripples. The Splatfest is very hard because I also love so uh, salsa and guacamole. I know. Me too. I'm doing salsa. I think I prefer guacamole. Yeah. Um, it was a tough choice. But it's a good combo. Like guacamole and salsa together in one bite with the chips. Thank you, Andy. Amazing. Andy whispered us uh, friend codes. In. Thank you. Woohoo. So Chicago's in right now. Yeah, he's, a, he's there with you. You don't have to travel to him. And then you have Joey's oh, Joey. in. So you have one more spot. Um, and then we can do a rift and go make some monies. So D Way's the last one, I think. Uh, let me set my. Let me figure out woo! my. Do hype button. for you guys. Hype. Thank you guys for joining. This is going to be so much fun. I seriously have way more fun when we're playing together. Need more time. Chicago has a succubus pet. <laughs> Yakweiser, what's going on? Happy Monday. You do? Is that what that thing is? <laughs> How did you get that? That's so cool. I need one of those. <laughs> Let's see real quick. Um... The Game Informer is waiting for a Mario vs. Sonic Splatfest. The How did that not oh, happen that already? That would be cool. Pets. I guess I got... Chicago I guess... says it was a drop. So they, so they uh... got it in the game. So you have to... Lucky you. That looks cool. Like my character, my um. Uh, I'm jealous. Violet, I'm jealous too. We're jealous too. <laughs> I think my demon hunter would look really cool with that character going around with me. So we need one more person. Um, uh, 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 D Way, so I can invite him again one time. And oh yeah, for sure. Let's invite friends. D Way is. Oh, Tim's here. Invite, invite to party. And once somebody leaves, we'll see if anybody else wants to. I think Juan said he's down. Uh, sadly, okay, cool. we, once somebody leaves Juan, we'll switch you in. Um, that's why I'm not playing. I have my Switch, but I'm not playing just because we want to make sure everybody gets a we chance to get play to with Felia. With you guys. And I'm going to be doing the giveaway. So. So let's see. We have one more slot. Does anybody want to jump in? It's D Way. I think he's trying to come in. Oh, okay. Um, so Yakwar said, what's our take on Detective Pikachu? We were talking earlier about it. We both love it. Like yeah, we I'm are super excited. We, we were saying that we understand like how some people are saying it looks like nightmare fuel. Um, but, uh, I actually really like the realistic look of it. The grittiness of the, of the, like the world that they've created. I think it's really, really cool. And I'm so down for Detective Pikachu. It gets me really excited for Pokemon yeah. again. Like really excited. Um, Juan says he doesn't have your friend code. Um... Really? And Loot Loot Master, if you don't have a Switch Online, you can't join. No, without you, the only way you can play without a Switch Online is local wireless. Um, oh, let me check something. D Way saying there's a, if there was an error, um, he's gonna restart. Discipline, and then the other one is hatred. Oh, so I'm getting this now. So your Demon Hunter has two different like. On the side, um, it's blocked because we're in the space that it would be. But the Demon Hunter actually has like two energy bars. One, the half is d hatred, and the half is discipline. So some um, moves, take, moves one. take discipline, and some actually take hatred. Super uh, cool. I'm finally getting it. So D Way said he's going to restart. Someone else can join in. Uh, so Juan, uh, you don't have Philia's friend code. Do you want to send your friend code, and Philia can add you right now? Yeah, do you want to do it in right chat? Now. Because Feely can add you right now so you guys can play. That's up to you. Um... <laughs> like everybody's just like working, <laughs> doing the attacks. <laughs> okay, so why? My hatred is too I'm, I am, uh, so, so I see, um, it looks like Looter can't play. Looter can't join because he doesn't have, um, oh, there's okay, the friend code. Okay, so here's Juan's friend code. I'll, I'll, uh, get you right now. And then we'll play. Thank you guys for waiting. I am so excited that our stream is running smoother. Thank you so like, much, Rex. Rex, that's incredible. I know. 4-4? Four, you, four? you were trolling me with that Marshall, <laughs> but I forgive you. 4487? <laughs> 1774? 1792. Got it. Okay. One. Friend request. Okay. Your nose is frozen. It's cold. Is that what you mean? It's really cold. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> Go ahead. I let you back on. I pressed the wrong button. Did it show anything? Or? I think you're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oopsies. Hatred and discipline. So. Looter Master is waiting for Smash to pay the online subscription, but maybe I will buy it before the release. It's it's worth it. I mean, you know, we you know we of course there's the bugs and the crashes that we've been experiencing. You know, the disconnects and so on, but. Just to be able to have, uh, to be able to play online with friends, it's really cool. Um, and it's just 20 bucks, so. Um, I see, uh, Chicago, you had the pup inside your jacket to keep him warm. That is adorable. That is oh so sweet. Oh my gosh, that is the sweetest thing. <laughs> Uh, and Yakwiser, we didn't uh, we didn't upgrade anything. Rex of Couple Lumps messaged us with a whole bunch of different changes. Uh, he recommended uh, in OBS we had resized a lot of things like all of our alerts and such within the uh, OBS window uh, using the bounding boxes. And he was saying like to you know to get rid of the tip jar and uh, resize everything in the program itself rather than resizing it. Um, and that's what that's all we did really um, all the settings we've kept the same in our stream we went back to the 2000 bit rate and everybody says it seemed to be um, working smooth so yeah. we're really happy oh snap did you see that mm -mm. I could do a little like crazy roll I'm just so you messing see if, around with my um... you want to see if uh, Juan's in right, right now yeah one's waiting for the invite oh okay I'm you gotta sorry. invite him yeah let me go get ya um one. One. there you are invite to party yes so that should have been your invite you should have gotten it one hopefully yeah so we're glad so we don't have to really upgrade our equipment right now uh even the computer just sounds better it's not it chugging does. along um and it's showing it's using a lot less um what is it, CPU? Yeah, it's showing that it's, it's doing 25% CPU with 30 frames per second. So it's smooth. So thank you, Rex. We troubleshot it, went through all the different fixes that way. Um, and yeah, it's working great. I'm really excited because it was really getting rough. And I felt bad that our um, that our yeah. uh, streams were looking, you know, Yeah, we choppy. want this to look good so you guys want to hang out and play. Okay, so is Juan in? Uh, let's see. Yes. Oh, yeah, you were in. Okay, so now you can okay, go into a game. Shall we go into a rift, you guys? Are you guys ready? Let's go get some loot. Let's try it. Raider rift. Does it matter? That one. I'm freaking out, you guys. This is so <laughs> much fun. So while you do that, I'm going to do the giveaway real quick, and we'll see how okay. the giveaway goes. Go, go, go. <laughs> Let's go get some goodies. Brave the <gasps> okay, we gotta kill the guardian. Let's go team. I wish there was a booyah button for us. <laughs> okay guys, so we're with the first magazine. Uh, in the first magazine, uh, you have to just type in the keyword. Don't spam it. Uh, just type in the word magazine and then we're gonna roll. So to be eligible for um, one of the four copies of the magazine, uh, you can just type in magazine for the next minute or so. So, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll start with it. I'll just type it in like that. Whoa. So, if you want to if you want to be eligible for the magazine, hit mag uh, just type in magazine. Just type just how you're doing it. Um, and you will be eligible. And we'll roll. You guys are awesome. Oh my gosh, what is happening right now? And again, just message us privately with your address, uh, either on Twitter, email, or you can do it. Uh, so shall we roll? I'm gonna roll, okay? Okay, roll it. So here's the first Maybe magazine. We'll you guys ready? Do that. Good luck, everybody. Eddie Road Dog. You Eddie the, Road Dog. You are the first winner of the magazine. Congratulations. Are you in there, Eddie yep. Road Dog? Oh, yeah, oh great, 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 great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, that is awesome. Congratulations so, on your win. So that's the first one. Now I think if I just hit roll it, it should count for everybody again. So I think everybody who typed in magazine will be eligible. Let me, I'm gonna try to press roll it for a second magazine okay, real quick. Okay, sure, yeah. Um, so for the second magazine, let me try to hit roll it if it works again. If not, we'll just readjust. One. One. So, so congratulations, got, Eddie and Juan. Juan got the second one. 
very cool. So congratulations, Juan. I know Juan's playing right now, but I know. Uh, <laughs> it's a little crazy that's going on right now. <laughs> to do that. So, so Juan, if you can send us your address uh, later on too, whisper it to us or email it. Um, I think let's give away the, all of them, right? Let's give the other right two. Right now? Okay, yeah, sure. Cool so if anybody, if you guys want to be eligible and you didn't already put it in, just type in the word magazine and you're eligible. Um, we're going to give away two more. Does the auto exec. Oh, Bamito Shin, we're giving away, um, let me come back in real quick before we roll again. We're giving away, where did I put it? <laughs> uh, four copies. We have two left of uh, Switch Player Magazine. It has our first print um, interview in it. Very um, exciting. So we'll be giving away two more copies, uh, two more winners right now. You have to just type the word magazine into uh, chat to be eligible, and we're going to mm -hmm. roll again. Um, so we have two more copies, and if you win, message us with your address so we can send it to you. Um, privately. So let's roll, right? Roll again. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna roll again. Give two. So congratulations, Eddie and Juan. Juan, if you're playing, I hope you also realize that you just won. I'm gonna re-roll again. You guys ready for number three? Good luck, everybody. Lee. Oh, Lee. <laughs> Lee won the third copy. Congratulations, Lee. I think you guys are really going to like the magazine. It's really cool. So we have one more copy to give away. So Lee's got the third one. Very cool. So Should we, have... we give it away now or at the end? Uh, that's up to you. I think our team's doing good. The Demon Hunter is definitely harder to use than the Wizard. I think the Wizard might be the easiest to get on with. Can I roll one more time? It's up to you. I'm going to try one more time. <laughs> this is our fourth one. Um, so here we go. You guys ready for the fourth one? Uh, yes, private as lo whatever private way you want to send us your address, you can. If it's on Instagram, it's, that's fine. Twitter, if it's on um, email or Whisper on Twitch, however you want to get us your address, that, that's perfect. So here's and our we'll last just send one. Send them out to you. Here's our last one. You guys ready? Good luck, everybody. Good Dribbles. luck, everybody. Oh, Dribbles! Dribbles won. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Congratulations, Dribbles. That is awesome. Congratulations. Not ready yet. Lee says he was cooking meat in Mario Party and he won. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys want to send us your uh, addresses privately, you can. Um, I also have to get the link. Uh, let me see if I can find that right now. You can actually order the copy with our interview if you want it uh, and you didn't win you can order it through switch player magazine's website uh, even though they have done um they've done a new one so it's not the current um the current one right now but you can still get this one um off of their website oh my gosh this is so crazy this character is much harder I'm going to put that right there. Thank you. So right there is if you want a copy of it um, and you want to check out, I mean, it's a fantastic magazine as well, but if you want our copy, our issue is, let me find the issue number. Sorry, we're, I'm not helping with the giveaway. I think Just we're trying to keep up with this, uh, with my squad here. So that's, it, I think that's, it says in the corner, 20 October 2018. So that should be the um that's the uh so if you guys want to order they have them available on their website as well um and I, that's really cool uh so congratulations to our four winners yes. that is amazing congratulations um, you guys we will send you um the copies as soon as we can yes and also we hope you enjoy it i really think you will uh joey said that he can't continue because the internet's being really bad right now oh no increase that stinks speed. Congrats, everybody. That is really, really cool. We're really excited. We hope you enjoy it. 
Uh, if you want, it's now it's uh, it's completely up to you. We can sign him if you would like. Yes, <laughs> if you, if you don't want him, totally up to you. If you don't want him signed, we don't have to. That's completely up to you. Um, <laughs> I like Ryan you says thanks, Dandy. <laughs> Lisa signed or bust. <laughs> yeah. So if you just wanted the magazine and you're like, I don't sign it, you don't. We won't. But yeah, uh, it's totally up to you guys. Yes. Shadow says, congrats to the winners. Of course. Well, thanks to Switch Player Magazine yes. for giving us extra copies of the magazine to give away. Really awesome of them. Um, uh, the interview, it's, it's over, what do you say? It was four pages, a two-page spread, yeah. two two-page spreads. Uh, Jonathan Poland, the Switch Collector, um, he did the interview of us. Uh, really fun questions he asked. Uh, so it dives into our, you know, our personal lives, how we met, uh, background of the show, and how we started YouTube, and... And it's really, really cool. Um, so it's a lot of information on us. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I think you will. Like, that's Andy. That is so sweet. Um, uh, Dripples, yes. Um, um, you guys can definitely uh, message. Uh, you can message us. You can do. I could even send you guys here. Okay. I think I'm ready with my new stuff now. If you guys want to go, we can. Uh, Dripples, you can send it on Twitter if you want. Um, you could also send it to our email address for anybody who wants. Send us our your address um, or any address that, that works for you to send it to uh, right there to the email address as well if you can't get to us on Twitter or Whisper or, or uh, what have you. Um, Thank you guys for waiting for me. Eddie's really sweet. Signed copy only because actual celebrities' so autographs are awesome. That is very sweet. Aww, that's so sweet. <laughs> Thank you very you much. You guys are too sweet. I'm sending. Thank you guys for waiting. Ryan says, who wouldn't want it signed? <laughs> you never know. We don't want to don't assume. We don't want to, like, devalue your, your new magazine. Well, that's when we did the... That was the funniest thing. We went to uh, the Nintendo Club. Our first visit to the Nintendo Club. And all the kids wanted us to sign stuff. And Even their, like, controllers. They had, the, like, the Joy-Con grips. And I felt so bad because as I was signing it, I'm like, I am devaluing your Joy-Con so bad. I am so sorry. Like... <laughs> <laughs> so it was very, it was very sweet of the kids. Yeah. Um, so we just always want to make sure because it's better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, and we want to give you whatever you want. Like if you want it without it, we won't yeah. be offended. It's cool. <laughs> Some people got to hustle them magazines. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> um, so we're gonna um, try to get those out this week uh, to you guys. So we'll get them out uh, this week to everybody. Yeah, um, definitely. Just please send us your um, time. address. Your address, yeah. Sorry, it's hard to talk and, and destroy demons at the same time. <laughs> so, so do you want in Chicago right now? Very cool. We're doing pretty good. Um. Okay, so Wallfeely is playing. Um. Like Firelight, thank you. Firelight says you guys are awesome. You should sign them all. Thank Aww. you. And Juan says he wants it signed. So everybody wants them signed. That's so that's awesome. awesome. So we will you sign them. You guys are the best. Seriously, yes. Thank you're you the guys. Best. <laughs> <laughs> like adding value, fix Danny's comment from Ryan. Thank you. You guys are sweet. Um, so uh, while Philly is playing, let's chat. Um, are you guys who's who here in our chat is getting Pokemon on Friday? Like who? And what team are you going with? Or are you buying both? I think um, I forget who it was. Was it Nick? I think is buying both, or was it Joey's getting both? Um, which is which is which is which is awesome. We're gonna get both, so we could you know, we'll trade back and forth. But hopefully, I don't know how the online is gonna work with Let's Go. At um, least we have each other, so we yes. can always um, like share. But I'm hoping that we can trade with you guys. It'd be really cool to trade Pokemon through the stream, so yeah, we can get some Pokemon from you, and you could get some of us, and we could go back and forth. Would and be I really a, awesome. I have a question. We were talking about this earlier. Like, do you usually give your Pokemon um, special nicknames, or do you always keep it whatever the nick whatever the Pokemon name is? I think I think uh, we were talking about. I never give the Pokemon nicknames. Um, then it helps you remember what their actual name is, right? Yes, yeah. that. And I also um, I'm not clever enough to name a hundred to get 151 <laughs> names. Like we're the sure you are. I'm the guy who like when we get an Animal Crossing game, it takes me like an hour to get off the start menu because I'm like, <laughs> what do we name our town? And we just sit there and think about like what the best name ever. Yes. Yeah, so so that yeah. to me is like um, the idea of getting like getting all 151 or 52, I guess, with Meltan now. Um, That's a lot. Makes me like scared to think. Think about nicknaming everybody. Um, 
But uh, I see. Did you see? I have a cool spider in this one. I see Lee's asking, do we, do we give out our Pokemon Go codes? Uh, I'm not sure if I have us on there. Um, I don't think we have given out Pokemon Go codes yet. Um, we don't really play since we're in more of a rural area. Um, yeah. But we're hoping that playing it, like with like with it being integrated with um, Let's Go, hopefully it gets us to go out. We have to like drive to every single spot. We can't walk to the it places. Really stinks. Yeah. And the places are far to walk. To, I mean, the, even the drive to it's a couple five or ten minute drive to, to each catch spot. Our po first Pokemon, we had to like go like five minutes just to catch the first one. Which I know sounds like like like, like you know oh five minutes big. I know it sounds funny to complain about five minutes, but, but you it, have to like get in the car and go somewhere. Yes, like in the city at least that way. I like that. Like if you could just walk down the street and you could, and, and they're all over the place. Yeah. For us, it's a lot harder to play. Um, but uh, we're gonna have to try. I mean, we'll share our Pokemon Go codes and stuff once we get into the game. It'd be really cool. Um, I see Eddie. Uh, Eddie Road Dog says, "If I was getting a game, I would. It would be Eevee. Uh, you can't nickname as well. I like creativity. If I had to do it for more than six, let alone eight hundred, that the whole series. Yes. Um, I think I started um, giving them nicknames, and then I kind of gave up halfway through. So, so like half and half are nicknames. Yeah. So because it's the same thing. Like I came up with some funny ones, like clever ones for a couple of them, but you cannot come up with great ones for all of them. Yeah. I think the ones that were like on my team for a while, like the ones that I knew that were going to be on my team, those are the ones that got nicknamed. Did you nickname Poplio when you started with Poplio? I can't remember. Did I? I don't think I did because I, I wanted to remember their names. Hmm. I thought you nicknamed the um, third evolution. I think I did. The final one, I think. Uh, I can't remember because I haven't waiting. played that game in a long time. So... Triples is lucky. Triples has a pokey stop and a gym in front of his house. Oh, <laughs> nice. Very so you lucky. can just like, sit in your living room and like get Pokeballs and stuff. Well, I like the fact that the Pokeball Plus, which we can't wait. I cannot wait to play with the Pokeball Plus. Uh, when we demoed with it, it's really cool. Um... So I'm really looking forward to uh, playing more, but I like the fact that they said that it counts, like when you drive by Pokestops, it spins Pokestops for you without you having yeah. to use the app. So I'm excited to like go to the mall and like get the whole drive down, just have it on my belt. Hopefully that like, you know, I could get some free Pokeballs and items. Uh, that'd be really cool to be able to like... Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. Oh. <laughs> It'd be really cool to be able to like um, do that without having, like have your phone out because because for us we have to drive everywhere so if we could just make like a, you know like do a route yeah. and collect everything it'd be really cool. Um, I like uh, Andy had a good question: boy trainer or girl trainer for everybody? Definitely girl trainer for me. Yes. And I'm boy trainer, but we like the fact that we can do skin colors. Yes, skin I, tones are in the game. I'm gonna have a nice little brown character that I'm very excited to play as. <laughs> oh, Woomy Lucky! Hey, Hi. welcome, Hi, <laughs> welcome. Woomy. We are just playing Diablo and chatting about um, Pokemon, and I see um, Shadow Knight Spyro was officially out in three hours. Really? Ooh. Wow, that happened fast. I love Spyro. I, I, Eddie, Ro Eddie Road Dog, Spyro, a game that needs a Switch version to be announced yesterday if possible, right? They did it with Crash, so I don't see why Spyro can't be um, announced as well. I was actually playing Crash Bandicoot over the weekend. Oh my gosh, that was the hardest thing for me to watch. <laughs> and it was like crazy how frustratingly difficult yeah. that game is. I'm trying to play them in order, so I'm trying to get through the first one before I jump to two and three. Um, and I was trying to get the in the Lost City, the first gem, when you have to like beat it without losing a life. Uh, whew. I I can't do it. It was hard for me to watch you play. It I can't do so it. Frustrating. I've gone to the last jump. And then I jump and I misjudge it. I just fell through the pit right before the end. And I'm like, I can't. Like, I've, I've tried so many times. Um, but uh, really, really cool. Very, very cool. Um, I never played it when I was younger because it's what, PlayStation? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I never played it before. Um, but watching you play it, man, I don't know. It's going to be hard to pick up. <laughs> hey, what's up, Sarah Finn? He said, here's a tip. Never play too. Torment. Torment uh, 6 starting at level 1. That is, uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, you gotta have, I guess you gotta find your difficulty level that matches with the gear you have and um, your level. Which is nice. We, I'm thinking of playing the whole game is like the easiest difficulty and then we were finding it's too easy and then we've been upping our difficulty as we've been playing. And definitely. It's really been a cool thing. Yeah. To up I like the difficulty how easy and get challenged. To, to switch too. Until the mom, what's going on? Welcome. The mom, how are you? What's going on? Um, 
So I see it till the mom is asking about our weekend. Our weekend was a bust. Yeah, we had a, well, we had a, yeah, our Friday was a bust. We were saying that we tried to visit our nephew and we got stuck in an ice storm two and a half hours out on our drive on the highway and had to turn around and come back so home. So we had a five hour round trip drive for nothing. And then the rest, I mean, we, we did rest the rest of the weekend. Like we took some time to our, for ourselves and rested, yeah. played some games. Um, Friday, I mean, Saturday, Rex was helping me with uh, our stream. So now our stream should be running smoother thanks to Rex from Couple Lumps, uh, his amazing Thank help, you so much, all of his Rex. tips. So hopefully everything with the stream is still going good. Because uh, on our end, I'm looking at it on our laptop and it looks like it's running I think really it's smooth. Making a difference, so, like, I think so far. Yeah. Goat Ride, is that, is that, I'm looking real quick, is that Bob Ross? Goat Rider, <laughs> I love that. Um, how was your weekend, Attila the like, Mom? Attila Mom said, said she's a potato and played games all weekend. That's Gosh. the way to do it. Sometimes you just gotta be a potato. Oh yes, that's right, While Andy. Eating Andy thank you so much for reminding me. We did we did jump into um, was that Sunday or was that Saturday? That but we played was... with Rex and Ray. Was that last night? No, that was Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. I think. Right? Yeah. I think it was Saturday. I don't know. I was such a potato yesterday but not in a good way i just like had so many naps it's not even like funny <laughs> that's right we did play splatoon 2 with couple lumps we yeah. jumped into their stream uh and it was really cool i i actually really liked it it was interesting being on the opposite end of it yes. like watching them stream and typing and having them talk back to us and and playing the games like i was really into it. we i think we stayed with uh in couple lumps for three hours i think yeah and three I, or three and a half hours i jumped in and played for a while but i have this art project that i'm working on for a friend so um i didn't get to finish playing but it was a lot of fun yeah, you joined it for a little bit you, yeah. jumped, you played a couple matches for sure yeah but it was, it was really fun. cool to get back into some splatoon 2 and play with them um oh, dripples is very sweet dripples says he's still shaking from winning the giveaway oh, which is very dripples. sweet um, uh, I said, said Lord Drake saying, I saw you're awful playing in Paladins. I think, didn't you do fantastic? I think you're being, uh, <laughs> I think you're incorrect, Andy. I think you were doing awesome. I think um, somebody's fishing for compliments over here. <laughs> I, I, I still don't completely understand, uh, Paladins. So, I, to me, you guys look like you did yeah. fantastic. And you guys saw the Wolfman, which you guys were saying was really rare. Um, so that was really cool. Um, so Paladins is the one we have to get into. Uh, we actually um, ordered another 128 gigabyte card so we could download more games on our Switches. Uh, they had it for... Um, Best Buy has it for 20 bucks, uh, And if you buy for 20 bucks, you get a $25 off coupon at Shutterfly. So we're buying off Shutterfly for the holidays anyway. So we were yeah. like, might as well save 20 Like It pretty much makes it almost free because we're yeah, going to spend the money deal. anyways. It's a good deal for us because we have a plan. Don't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> we have a plan for a... Um, uh, Christmas present that we're going to use Shutterfly for. Yes. Um, I see Ray, uh, Ryan Jr. said, uh, your gaming budget is for the year is done outside of Smash. It's really tough. They are hitting us in the holidays with a lot of amazing games. Oh, I guess, guys, are we supposed to go to that door? I see this door down here. Is that where we're supposed to go next, maybe? Looks like this is clear. There's some more. Oh, there's a little corner. Maybe, I don't know. Is that where you guys are running? I'll follow. It says you have to kill uh, the Rift Guardian's minions. Maybe it's in that corner. Yeah, follow. Yeah, see where they're going. Um, I'll be there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I like that I have this little spider. I told the mom said we've reached level 70 on any characters yet. No, we have not been able to really play this as much. Um, yeah, it's been super busy. Yeah, last week was crazy busy. Uh, this week we're hearing her for Pokemon. And actually, I, we could announce now. Um, I, have, I have a list here just to make sure. Uh, we have gotten a couple of Nindies that we're going to be playing tomorrow and uh, Wednesday. We have uh, Trailblazers. Yes. Um, which is a lot of fun. It's a racing game that kind of has like a feel of Splatoon to it because you paint the ground you race on and then if you drive over and every lap you go you can try to paint your color and if you drive over your color you get a boost so you get a speed boost it's on your color you can paint over other people's colors it's a really really cool game and uh they're giving us three copies to give away to you guys in chat so when we stream that there'll be three free copies to give away uh that comes out th uh the 15th which is thursday but we'll have you get an early copy you can win um, Circle of Sumo we have, which is yes. hilarious. Uh, Nindy uh, Sumo Wrestling game. That comes out on November 16th. 
Uh, toast time. We have two. Co we have uh, uh, one copy to give away on our stream. Toast time. Uh, we have. It has not been available in the eShop yet. They sent us a code, but we can't download it. It's supposed to come out the 16th. Um, which is Friday. Which is Friday, so hopefully we can download that and we can play. It would be great um, to be able to play it before launch, but yes. we, we'll see depending on when it becomes available for us. And then it's available now, but we got Crashlands, uh, which has a new co-op mode we're going to show off. So we're going to have two, what we're going to do is we're going to have two streams and uh, split those games up so, so there's going to be two double features. And each day, whether it's going to be Trailblazers or Toast Time, each day is going to have giveaways. Whether it's a Trailblazer three-game giveaway or Toast Time is one game. So... From tomorrow and Wednesday, there's going to be four uh, digital codes up for grabs on our stream. And then Thursday... More um, giveaways, you guys. More I giveaways. I feel like we're getting spoiled with all these giveaways. Thank you so much to all the developers. We really, yes. really appreciate it. And Lisa at Circle of Sumo looks hilarious. It is. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be covering those, uh, doing our Tune In These Double Features. And then Thursday, um, we're going to try to see... Thursday's kind of up in the Air Force right now. Um, trying to make sure to see if there might be a Pokemon event we have to attend. Uh, so we don't really know yet how we're working that out. Uh, well, hopefully and, we can stream or not. And then also, um, Friday, I have to work late more than likely. So probably Friday, maybe a NBC Danny solo stream. Oh, why is um, it chopping now? So we'll see. We'll have to let you guys know. Why is it not? Okay, let me see. Why is it not running? Having so some issues sudden, again now. Yeah, all of a sudden. Let me check task manager. Let's see. Hmm. Let's just show OBS. Same problems again. Yeah, it's not running smooth anymore. Oh no! Nothing changed. No. Why is it? It actually, it's looking a lot worse. Is it? Yeah. It's like frame rates jumping it's, around. It's going crazy. Oh, I see. Uh, are you guys seeing it like this? Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo Oprah couple. <laughs> you get a game. You get a game. I'm gonna sit down and see what we can do real quick. Okay. That's our goal. We're we're aiming to be the Oprah of gaming, right? I'm gonna go to you real quick. Oh, no. Yeah, go for it. I'm just gonna keep getting these guys. So I'm gonna try to see. So Malphelia is playing. Hmm, that's really odd because I don't think anything has changed. No, it's I mean, there's work. a lot of things going on right now because there's a lot of like enemies in the screen. Do you think that could be why? I don't, it shouldn't be. It's showing our CPU is low and our frame rate's still 30. What anything in the anything um, weird in the task manager? No. I wonder if some background update thing came up or anything. Pete sees always trying to get us to update. Yeah, it's showing it's I mean it's showing everything's fine right now. Stream labels. Huh. I'm looking right now at the most. Try to end some task. Wow. Okay, I'm going to try to go back, guys. Let's see. Oh, we're doing good. Yeah, it's incredibly choppy. Still super chops? Yeah, it, it looks like it's a cable connection problem, maybe. Hmm. Let's see if I can... Can you do an internet test? It's not the internet. You're smooth... It's literally huh. the game's glitching. It might be the um, Elgato, maybe. Hmm. I'm going to unplug you and plug you back in, okay? Okay, go for it. Ah! Marsh I think Marshall did this. I definitely think Marshall made me lose this game. Everything was going great. Let's see. 
So we have one moment, please. Technical difficulties, you guys. Bear with us. We'll figure this out. That's so weird. So it just started happening, right? Yeah, I think everything was good. I'm gonna go back and see if it. Nope, it's not catching up. Huh. Still not adjusting? I think a uh, game informer saying it could be the uh, Elgato. I think so too. Huh. What do you think it is with the Elgato? No. Like something got marshaled. <laughs> I think marshaled. So I found did here's it. the culprit. I just put him, our culprit in our chat. <laughs> Marshall, not again. Well, it's weird because if I go to, I'm going to try to go back to four, and it's not, it's just saying one moment, please. It's not even popping up anymore with our Elgato. Not at all? Yeah. Huh. It's just saying one moment, please. All right, bear with me, guys. Oh my gosh, I think there's just too many monsters around here. Oh. Ah, what's going on? That's. Oh boy. Yeah, hold on. I got to oh turn boy. the TV on and off. Oh boy. <laughs> we lost I think it's, everything. I think it's the Elgato. Let's see. Marshall, what are you doing? Hopefully yours comes back on. I'm just pressing the controller trying to run away because I don't, I can't see anything that's happening right now. Oh, let's see. I think it's, I think it's Marshall. Oh, man. Okay, you're in. Marshall is the cutest innocent boy. <laughs> no, he's not. Okay, I just literally ran to a corner. Okay, so how's it looking that now? Serious webcam view. <laughs> was it like really, really it was, close? It up? was my face. <laughs> <laughs> How was it your face? Because oh, it was our that laptop. Webcam. I clicked off of the um, Elgato and back onto, but when I clicked the webcam, it was just my full screen face oh my God. looking at our laptop. <laughs> so it's looking very smooth now. So that's really weird. What? What did you even do to fix it? I just it? reset the Elgato. That, this is the work of a yokai. I think so. So I'm like, I know we were doing really good before, um, but now uh, we're not, and you have no sound on your... We just your... have to kill the guardian. And you have no sound on the TV, though. Is that is okay? It, is it working over there, at least? Yes. Are you guys hearing the sound? Yeah. I'll manage with no sound, but as long as you guys are hearing the sound. Like, we have a yokai in our presence. The Elgato got... <laughs> El got you too. <laughs> so thank you guys for bearing with us on uh, whatever that was. Um, but they're definitely yeah. I, I would blame a yokai because that was that was kind of crazy. Um, it's always technical difficulties, I right? Oh, everything was going great. You could have all the settings and because that was what was weird about that one was it was actually like it wasn't just a frame rate issue it was like cutting it in half and like glitching top and bottom like it did look like it was a, a connection issue but everything's connected uh we did uh unplug it and plug it right back in and uh i think that seemed to work so weird. which is really weird so um oh my gosh this guy's pretty strong still... andy things are going boom and crash so yep we hear pretty sound okay good I told the mom, Streamlabs, ma Streamlabs managed to lose your mic the other day. Streaming is hard. <laughs> right? It is. Like, we can't get it right for some reason. We keep trying different things. Well, we There's lost our... something. We have everything connected, and it's the same routine every day. And the one day when we turned when we turned on our stream, our mic wasn't picking up anymore. It was showing on our end that it worked, but our stream wasn't hearing us. So it's like we follow to the T everything we do every day, and uh, for some reason the one day I'll, the OB didn't pick OBS up. was like, no, 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 we're not doing it today. Like we're gonna cut the audio thing out. Um, what is that giant Reaper thing? Is that your boss, right? Is yeah. that the one that you have to, you have to defeat? That's your Rift the guardian. guardian. We're getting there though. 
Nice, guys. What level are you right now? 30. I am. Yeah. You're 30, Juan's 29, and Chicago's 36. Very cool. And thank you, chat. Them. Thank you, chat, for letting us know that the stream wasn't looking good. Uh, sometimes we watch the TV and we, like, you know, we don't. It's. Ooh, new transmog. Nice. Woohoo! So sometimes it's hard for us to tell, and then so at least seeing you guys letting us know, like, hey, there's a problem, we're able to <laughs> fix it. So and I'm going to high five that good too. Good job, team! We yes. did it! So I think we just go back to town, speak to Oric in town. Yeah, so you could, do your, you could do your portal. Oh. <laughs> you ran into like a hole. Oh, no. <laughs> and you I'm brought them. Get out of here. You literally just brought them to, to okay. uh, who is that, Chicago? Sorry, guys. I'll, I'll assist in getting rid of these guys, and then we can head back to town. I like, <laughs> I like poor Chicago was standing there getting ready to go back to town, and you just, okay. oh, there's a chest right there. There's a chest. Oh, it's a good thing we checked. Okay. Yay. Okay, guys, let's head back because I'm just going that way and making it worse. Uh, is it this button? Yep. Return to town. So I told the mom how far we got in the story campaign. Act um, two. Act two. We're in act two right now from what we played. We've been able. I know, Philia, you finished act up to act two on stream. Look at all that money I just made. I seriously, before we went into that rift, I only had like less than 20,000, I think. So now you could go get some uh, Ganondorf transmogs. <laughs> Good job, team. A Lunar Masker, uh, we always, it's the same thing. We uh, we have to work on Discord. We promise that Discord is coming for us. Uh, and we're excited. We're gonna, it's going to be a new thing for us to learn. Yes. Um, but we will be having a Discord. When we do, we'll make a big announcement for everybody, and we hope everybody joins in. It'll be a lot of fun. Yes. It's just a matter of getting it going. Um, so Shadow Knight says, you hopefully you can make it tomorrow. You're babysitting your baby nephew tomorrow night. Oh, that's While nice. your sister's at the gym, you'll have your laptop. Um, so I don't see how I wouldn't be able to. That is awesome. Really cool that of you. That is super nice. It's always nice spending time with family. It's a shame sometimes yeah. that we don't get to spend as much. <gasps> nice. You even got more money on that. Money, money. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out. Whoa. Okay, now I can like, upgrade a lot. Yeah. Okay, uh, what should I do here? Well, you have, you, you have 52 out of 60. you got to sell some stuff. and uh, I mean, not sell. You have to um, salvage some stuff. Salvage. Definitely salvage some stuff. Let me just make sure real quick that all my items are things that I want to have on. Okay, so you guys in chat, if you can help maybe. I know for the wizard, the thing that you're kind of going after is um, intelligence. For the demon hunter, is are you also going after intelligence? Like when you put the gems into the body and your head and stuff like that? Or is it different? Like for each character, are you looking for specific things that are better to like up those things? Dexterity. Dexterity. Thank okay. you. Thank and you. It's dexterity. Still the and Juan cool. and Lunar Master, thank you, Master. Chicago. So Juan has to go. So bye, Juan. Thank you for joining bye, us. Juan. Thanks for playing. And congratulations on winning the magazine. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> 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 yes, definitely send this into the whisper, or um, you can email us. If we have if we have an issue, does like the whisper doesn't come through for some reason, I'll, I'll message you and find it. Um, but the whisper should work perfectly. Um, okay, so look at all your stuff. Not really bad. Okay, so what do you want to do? Do you want to mm -hmm. see? Does anybody else want to join in? Do you want to do another riff once you salvage your yeah, stuff? Yeah, definitely. So I if would anybody else. Like to. Um, uh, Tim says, send him an invite. Tim needs okay, an invite. Cool. Awesome. What's and going Tim, on, Tim? I see you sent me, um, sent me an outfit before. Thank you. That it's is a really awesome. good one. Multiplayer bonus, 10% XP, magic, and gold find. What? That's nice. So it's you in Chicago, so you got to invite, uh, Tim in. Okay, let me, let me invite you first. Um, Tim. Oh, did you restart a different um, invite to party? Okay, I think an invite went out. Yeah, it should have. Salvage. Oh, that's what I wanted to see. If I need to put anything that has like those little crystal things first before I sell. Um, I like that has uh, a crystal in it. Oh, uh, Tim, are you playing seasonal um, or are you playing regular right now? Chicago, you were trying to watch the stream and trying to click on the Smith to salvage items. 
Tim saying it wouldn't let him join. Are you, uh, did you do seasonal? Because I think Philly is playing seasonal right now. Yeah. Definitely am. So here's your tip from Attila the Mom. For the helm and weapon, it depends on the build. But for body armor, um, demon hunters and monks are uh, dexterity classes. Dexterity gives you armor and makes you tougher and do more damage. Uh, wizards, necromancers, and witches, uh, witch doctors are intelligent classes. Intelligence gives them all resist and ups their magic. D uh, damage. Which is cool. Very cool to know. Tim is seasonal. Um, you salvage all? Yeah, I did. Is that a bad thing? No. Ooh, too late now. Tim invited you to Diablo. Should I just accept? Is it all the same? Will we go into the I, same thing? Let's see. Let's try it, actually. I've never I've never tried it before. If you join this party, you will leave the current game. See if you can invite him in. So you okay, don't so I'm going to cancel because Chicago's already in here. But let me try again because I did send you an invite. Uh, invite to party. Let's see. You should have gotten an invite because I'm playing seasonal as well. Um, what difficulty are you on? Uh, expert? Is it a difficulty thing, maybe? I'm on expert right now. Seasonal expert. I can go down to hard if, if at level one you're only able to unlock normal. If that makes a difference. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Look at my character. So cool. That's a nice character. <laughs> So Tilda Mom's saying if you put emeralds in your body armor, it increases your dexterity. Emeralds, um, okay. So that's an armor for more armor and damage. But if you find that you're taking a lot of elemental damage, you can try putting diamonds in the armor to increase resistance. So if, you, so if you're getting too much mag, uh, uh, magic damage, you can put in diamonds. So what do you have? Do you have... Um, are you combining some right now? Yeah, nice. I'm going to make some emerald stuff here because I have a lot of stuff. I like Andy. That is perfect. He says next time for Diablo, maybe we could try just saying which mode we're gonna have. Everybody has to be in, like announce in the beginning what mode, uh, so we can explore a different mode each time. Very You're smart. smart. That's very smart. <laughs> uh, we will definitely do that. Yes. Uh, so this time we're doing seasonal. Um, Philly is on expert, but we can move it down if anything. Um, let's see. Did, uh, did, Tim, were you were you able to join on that one? And the emeralds should be like body stuff, right? Forty percent thick. 40 plus dexterity. That's, you That's really good. So I'm going to put another one in there. Nice. And 10. Sure, why not? Yeah. That's what you have equipped, right? And what should I put in the head? Is it different? Like, is the head one different than the body, or is it all kind of the same? Let's see. I uh, click it, it'll tell you what it does. Uh, let me just take a look. Oh, so oh, uh, I didn't just get through all the messages yet, Ryan. Uh, I see you. Um, you're enjoying grip. You got a bit more time in towards the end of the weekend. Very cool. Very very cool. Um, are you? Um, did you go online with it at all yet, or have you been sticking mostly to like the campaign, or have you been messing around with like the car core stuff? Um, Yeah, if you go, uh, tell mom saying that you can actually read the gems. When you go to your gems, it'll tell you what they do. Okay. So you just click gems. You see what it's telling you? Weapons. So it says damage. Well, it, but helm. does it matter like where you Look, put it? It's just telling you weapon, helm, and other. You see? Oh, so I see. It's telling you what each one does. So, so the when you helm go down, will help with cool down. For Got a diamond. it. Bonus experience would be for uh, Ruby. Plus damage. Oh. I just had to pay attention. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, I gotcha. Resource cost reduction. Yeah, I kind of want that. Because my one move is like my... um. The hatred goes down really fast. So maybe I should get that. Topaz? Let's see if I can do some of this real quick with the topaz combined. Upgrade topaz real quick? Yeah. Because I think during those rifts and stuff, I picked up a lot. So I'm going to just get that real quick. Let's see. Tim says, sorry I'm back. Put your daughter down to bed. That's really sweet. Um, <laughs> you're not so sure why, sweet. but you haven't been able to join anyone on your friends list. What difficulty are you playing at right now? <gasps> I used up all my monies. <gasps> you were just oh clicking God, like crazy? I was just clicking like crazy. <laughs> I literally. 
seconds just clicking like I figured like I have so much gold it's never gonna be a problem uh whoopsies okay that's fine at least you could go back and uh uh Tim's asking can you try again can you try to add him again I'm real quick again. of course um I like uh like Andy saying, until the mom reading, readings for the weak will, the strong survive on pure arcane power. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damage elite. Let's see. Did you did you invite Tim in? I did, yeah. Oh, nice. Chicago says, yes, combining <gasps> gems is very expensive. I was expensive. just like click, click, clicking on that. That was bad. Um, so Eddie Road Dog, you have the new Smash Ultimate trailer with its quietness and the best memes, which are awesome. I like the, the is it, are you talking about the Queen Don't Stop Me Now? It works so perfectly with the Smash trailer. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but they uploaded the Smash trailer and there's no music in the background. It's just sound effects and the trailer. So everybody's editing their own music into the into it and like yeah, re-uploading yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a couple of those There's a lot media. of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think I'm ready to go into another rift. Um, if we could just get Tim in, that would be amazing. <laughs> like um, Ryan get Gandorf armor and said, so tell him I'm saying so. Generally, people put a diamond in the helm for cooldown, emerald in weapon for critical damage, and main stat gems in armor. But that's at level 70 when you're working on end game gearing, which you're not. Um, at low level, a ruby in the helm will help you level up faster. A ruby. Let's see. Do we got any rubies? I'm sure <laughs> we do. I'm Chicago, so he'll be right back. Um, should I join Tim and then can Chicago go into Tim's game then? Yeah, let's try that actually. Let's, let's see if you, if you click accept. Let's see if you go into Tim's game. Okay. And then Chicago, maybe we can get you into that game after. Yeah, let's see. Because there's some reason it wasn't letting Tim jump into our game. Super so we'll weird. find out. Let's see. Because maybe it's a difficulty thing. I don't know if that's a... There's a there's problem a joining problem. the game. Remember the other night we were having this too. So let's see. Why so is that? let's I'm see. I'm a seasonal. You're a seasonal. Hit, hit continue. And then let's get Chicago back in. Let's invite Tim. See if this works. Hmm. I didn't see the Evanescence one yet, but um. Bring me back to life. <laughs> I like and the Infinity War trailer music I saw was good. There's a lot of good ones. Uh, we haven't. I, we should try to edit one together, but yeah. Um, there's been so many good ones. I don't know what else is yeah. left to do. Like, there's the people have picked that such really good music choices for it. Um, we gotta put. So something let's see if you funny. can invite Tim real quick in Chicago again. We gotta put something funny in. Invite and Chicago. Okay, so I I sent you guys both invites. Hopefully that works. And again, if we have any of our Diablo winners in chat that wants to come on and play with us, <laughs> please do. <laughs> read the redacted manual. I usually say read the fine, read that fine manual. That's because you usually write the dang manual. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> It's really funny because even back in the day, like I've I never used to read instruction manuals for games. Waiting. Like I would kind of go into a into a game and then like if I needed help, I would go back to the instruction manual. And then it's always funny. I'm trying to think of an example like a uh, example of one, but Need there'd be times time. where like you read the manual, like oh you can do that in the game, and not realize you played the entire game without no without knowing something that was clearly in a manual. Yeah. Um, who joined? Let's see. Is that the players joining? Yeah. Let's see, was that is that Chicago or was that or did Tim get in? Let's see. Um <laughs> <till the mom. laughs> most men don't. Pictures. That's why we have pictures. <laughs> I am a visual learner. Savage! Yes. Till the mom. So true though. It is true. It is true. <laughs> especially when especially when I'm like building stuff I, in the house. I also don't read. I Depending on what it is, if it's like a, a electronic thing, I'm always worried. Like, if I start it up without doing like a certain thing, then it'll like fry the whole thing. So those things I usually read the manuals, but sometimes I don't either. So uh, Chicago uh, is in. Tim, what level are you playing on? Like, what is your difficulty setting in the game? Because maybe it is a difficulty setting. I don't know. Right now I'm set at expert, but I can um, I can change it. 
I can huh. change it to, um... I'm wondering if you can't join because maybe you haven't been able hard? to, um... Yeah, let's just see what he says. Let's see which one you're in. <laughs> so the diff okay, so Chicago saying you don't think the difficulty settings matter. I wonder why he because we even tried Chicago while you were gone to join <laughs> um, in Tim's game and it and it had an error message come up. Yeah. So I'm actually not too sure why why some can join because we had this problem on stream a while back. Um, remember? We did, yeah. Where we had trouble joining in games and stuff. So I actually don't know. Um... <gasps> Wait, what happened? back oh man i, I think tim tried tim tried to uh, invite you i did that the other day like i was clicking through yeah and we got an invite and i just kind of pressed the button on it invite i'm trying to invite you again i don't know why it's not yes she got, we have last week somebody couldn't join the game we were trying over and over again i don't know uh so tim you're saying you have not been able to join any of your friends either a raven oh <gasps> A bat. Is it a bat or is it it's a, a bat? It's a bat. Yeah, look, he's so cute. So you get a bat and a cuckoo. <laughs> he's so adorable. So happen again. So we'll have to try to figure out why it, why you can't join and why we have trouble joining in. Um... Yeah, that really stinks. Yeah. Huh. Um. Nope. No one. Hmm. Want to try to go back into another rift real quick? Sure, yeah. Next. One more rift. Chicago, are you up for one more rift? I know it's getting a little late, but should we do one more? Let's see. And if anybody is in chat that want a copy of Diablo, uh, please jump on. He said, yep. Yes. Okay, let's do this. Did I press it? Yeah, I think so. It's just oh, okay. our sound cut out. For some reason, when we turn back on our TV, the sound from the Switch cut out, so we can't hear uh, our Switch anymore. It's a bad. But for me, it's as long as our stream's running smooth, I don't want to touch yeah, anything. Yeah, we'll just deal with no sound so, from the game. That's fine. We'll be playing this the silent film way. Oh, I think I, think I squished you over. Come oh. over a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to get a cuddle or something. Who knows? So you're in like an ice cavern now. Very cool. Whoa, so, look at all these guys. <laughs> Triple is very sweet. I'm going to eat dinner now. Goodbye, everybody, especially the power couple for giving for the giveaways. They are the best. Aww. Thank you, Dripples. You are the enjoy best. Enjoy your dinner, Dripples. Yes, enjoy your dinner. Out. And I'm so glad you're excited about your um, your copy of the magazine. I think you're gonna love I it. I think so too. We're um. Oh man, um, like I said, we're gonna have games. We have four more copies to give away of games this week. Uh, three Trailblazers and one for Toe Stop. Yeah. Um, and then, like I said, Thursday we don't know what we're doing with our stream yet. It might be if I if you can't make it to the event and I have to go, it might be a Felia solo, solo stream. stream. And then Friday it might be a solo stream with me because you'll be working late. Yeah. So we'll have to figure like 98% out. Ninety eight percent I'm working late on yeah. Friday. So Friday, uh, I, I really want to stream Pokemon Go, uh, Let's Go uh, Eevee, so I think that's probably what we're going to do. I know um, Andy was saying uh, that it's also um, uh, Splatfest, uh, but we might actually try to do a Saturday stream. Might yeah, do like a Splatfest so. Saturday stream um, So to make up for it, uh, so we can get some Splatfest in with you guys, so you guys can play against us. I mean, play with us in Team Guac or Team Salsa. Um, so right now we have two Nindies mm -hmm. double showcases for the next two days, and then it's kind of to be determined for the rest of the week. Yeah, just for we'll now. Yeah, definitely be streaming. It's just a matter of what game, who, and what game. <laughs> yeah. So what? I'm gonna cross over real quick. And okay, sure. Uh, no, I'm good. Thanks. Actually, yes. Can I please have a water? <laughs> I changed my mind in like two seconds. Just like a girl. Um, a warm one, please. So, oh, and also, next week, next Tuesday is Danny's birthday. So, I, I can't remember if we chatted about this already, but we're going to do a birthday stream. Woo! Um, have some cake. Have some cake on stream with you guys. We invite you to get cake and eat with us, too. Yeah. And tweet it to us. Um, so we can have a little like virtual party. I think that would be super fun. Yeah, we'll have a fun little birthday stream. It'll be really cool. Maybe We've never done then, that before. Maybe by then I'll figure out a um, a present for you. I and... keep telling her don't get me anything. <laughs> I really, I said I'm just happy with getting Pokemon EV um, Friday. I don't really. You I'm can't totally not good. have a present, okay? It's your birthday. <laughs> and I am yes, I am Team Salsa and Philly is Guacamole. 
Uh, we always find ourselves, and we don't do it on purpose, but we always We're kind of find ourselves opposite, opposite Splatfests all the time. I don't know, has yeah. there been a Splatfest so far lately that we've been on the same side with? Um, was it a real one? I don't think it was a real one. The toilet paper one? That never happened. That was like That was Europe, one. I think. Oh, no, that was okay. Europe. Oh, okay. We never played in that No. One. No. That was the only one I remember us agreeing upon. Yeah, it was like it was, it was like the toilet paper roll being over, <laughs> like when you put the roll in or being under, and we were over. Definitely and over. And we were like monsters for under, <laughs> like joking. <laughs> so, but I think that wasn't, um, I think that wasn't uh, a U.S. We one. We were just looking at the thing, yeah, because I don't remember playing in that one. Um, taking a look real quick. Um... <laughs> And yes, it's gonna be birthday fun. It's a Shadow Knights with me on this one, Team Salsa. So we get to play it again together. That'll be great. I wish um, I was Team Salsa because Salsa is lower in calories, so it'd probably be better off. <laughs> so you're basing your Splatfest <laughs> choice off of calories? I'm not because I prefer guacamole. It's so delicious. I love yeah. avocados. So we were like we we first started dating. Like one of our like our snacks that we used to have almost like every night oh traditionally God. was we salsa and then. nacho <laughs> cheese with nacho chips and like we would play like at the every time we had night. Skylanders every, every night, every night we every come home from work put on Skylanders heat up a big thing of cheese and uh, bring out salsa and have a big bag of uh, salsa chips and just eat salsa chips oh my God, uh, that was with nacho cheese um, amazing and just play video games like yeah. that was our that was our life we were dating and living <laughs> together at the <laughs> back in Clifton that was fun yeah. um, it was all worth it see Ryan saying that um, Ryan said that he's team salsa but it feels weird not to be team Philia like he's like, I know that's weird that's a new feeling there and Andy's saying a lack of love for Philia on Splatfest I see all salsa in our chat how dare you <laughs> That's okay. I have my guacamole to keep me your company. <laughs> I'll just eat away my sorrows in guacamole. So we're gonna check, I got an email and check with Rex and Ray of Couple Lumps, but what we would love to do, cause I know Rex and Ray are also split. Uh, Rex is salsa and Ray is on your side with guacamole. Right? We might try to do- I know we, what she's talking about. We might, we're gonna see if we can try to stream at the same time so you can both, so that we can both stream um, doing a nice little dual stream That'd for um, our Splatfest, which would be a lot of fun with them. Uh, so I got to email them and find out about that, what their plans are, if they're going to stream Saturday or not. Um, about it and making plans for them. <laughs> yes, I, I, yeah, once you and once you choose, I like how Ryan says, but I already chose in Splatoon 2 and chose wisely, Salsa for the win. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, really cool. So, I, so that's what I think we'll do is we'll play Saturday. We'll have some... Um, like, have some salsa. Maybe it's just a cultural thing. A lot of like, I don't know. Is that a weird? Seven thing? dwarfs. What's going on? Good evening. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. If you have good evening, seven dwarfs. If you have Diablo and you want to jump in, please let us know. Um. Oh, Chicago's guac. Okay, so you got okay. Chicago on your team. Chicago, you and me. And uh, why does, I uh, see Andy saying, why does Twitch not have multi-streaming yet? I think they announced it for 2019, uh, which is really cool. Which is like right around the corner. Yeah, so hopefully they announced it as one of the things they're hoping for, so you can actually have multiple streamers through Twitch itself stream at the same, t same time, which I'm really excited for because it takes the, you know, the guesswork out of using other websites to do it for you. It's great to have it all done within Twitch. Um, I need to up something that has more hatred. Something that... Sounds so weird to say that. <laughs> um, so real quick, while Philly is playing, um, oh, Seven Dwarfs, you're, you're, I see Diablo 3 is on PC. They have not done anything with, um, with, uh, cross-platform play, which is, which is sad. I was kind of hoping, I guess, I don't know who's... Like, like whose court that ball is in, I guess, yeah. with, uh, when it comes to that. <laughs> that's, that's a weird that's way of, an interesting that's, way That's a weird way of, that. right? That's that a, is a super interesting that's, way of saying it. That's a reverse way of saying it. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I feel like the ball's in your court now. So who between Nintendo and Blizzard, which one, who has yeah. the, who has to make the uh, okay for like cross platform? Oh, okay. I get, I yeah. get you. You just need to explain Chicago a Chicago saying <laughs> Blizzard. Uh, I, I, it would be, if it's Blizzard, hopefully they do it. Uh, whoever side it is, I hopefully that they, that they get that going. Cause it'd be great to be able to bring your PC characters over and play. Um, one cool thing. I think it was Trailblazers has a uh, cross platform play 
that is actually, uh, you could turn it on and off within the game, uh, which will show off this week when we play the game. But there's actually an option to enable cross-platform play. So if you play online, you can choose the whether you want to play with just Switch owners or other console owners. I think that's a really cool thing to give you the option so you can decide uh, whether you want to do that or not. Um, but it's cool to have... Cro I never saw that before in a game where cross-platform is an actual option to turn on and off. Um, okay, sorry guys. I was just... Sorry Chicago. I was just... Um doing some uh, adjustments there I'm hoping that my hatred will be <laughs> my hatred will be stronger <laughs> so I can help you out a little bit better you in Chicago your character looks nice um so I brought in uh, real quick from inside um this oh. it's a little the little stress ball a little pokeball this is the size of the pokeball plus it's a tiny bit bigger. A tiny, tiny, tiny bit, bit bigger. bigger. But yeah. you see how small it looks in my hand. That's the Pokeball. Oops, that's the Pokeball Plus. So if anybody's wondering that's how a big point. the Pokeball Plus is, these were given to us at uh, E3. They were their little stress balls. Um, but it's essentially about this size, and it has a little uh, strap with a ring on the end of it. You could put on your ring finger or your middle finger, whatever finger that keeps it, you know, more comfortable in the Kinda palm of your hand. It, yeah. And the, where the red part is, the top part has a button you can press, and then your other oh. finger goes on the, the it'll be a, uh, the control stick comes out of the center of the ball. You just kind of hold it like a pokeball, and you just kind of play like that. And it works really well from what we've tested it out. We've tested it out twice so far. Um, but it was, but just to let you guys know, it is definitely smaller than you probably think it's going to be, because I was expecting it to like be this giant pokeball that would yeah. fit in the whole hand, and then when they give it to you, you're like, oh, this is actually really small. Um, but it makes sense because you have to carry it around with you um, to go and, um, you know, when you, you could take Pikachu or Eevee or other characters on the go with you. So I think it's actually it's good that it's smaller. It's a good size that you can, like, for guys or for <laughs> girls, you can, you can fit it into your pocket, too, or your little purse or whatever. So it's a nice compact size for that, too, especially if you want to take it around with you. I like Ryan stress them, stress them, gotta stress them all. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm um, looking right now. Um, nice, Chicago. We're doing this. You pulled a primal yesterday. Are you talking about on Pokemon Go? Is that for Pokemon Go? And Ryan Drayson, yes. Plus, it is convenient for kids. It definitely is uh, very convenient for kids. Yes. It's definitely bigger for their hands. I think that's probably the main reason it is the size that it is. Because it's yeah. kind of like a good size for everybody. Yeah. And I mean, we've all, we also always played it where it's like it's locked down yeah, because so you can't like run away with it. Security device. Yep, and yeah. the and the and the back is open. The back has a little USB charger port in it. You could open up and put your cable in. That's usually plugged in too, so it's constantly powered. So I'm looking forward to like kind of playing it wirelessly, like without just having it on my ring finger. Yes. And that's it, um, which would be really uh, odd because that's not how we played it so far. Um, Oh, I see. Oh, so Seven Dwarfs, you guys are talking about you pulled a primal in Diablo. Ooh, what's that? I don't think I've ever done that. What is that? I have no idea. We're new to Diablo, so any advice is really appreciated. See, Tell his mom says that you're still working on all primal Blackthorns. Uh, I don't know what that means. I have no idea. Sounds cool. It does. So you guys are at 37%. We're getting there. You're getting some money back from all your your uh, crystal your crystal I combinations. I want crystals. They're um, nice though. They give a good boost. Uh, Andy, you said that you did uh, the Pokemon Go community event, right? You said you caught a uh, legendary. What was the legendary you uh, you caught? You said you were going to talk to us about it on the stream. Um, that's really cool that you that you're into the uh, the Pokemon Go um, community events. That's really cool. So, so in Diablo, a primal is an ancient item with max rolls on all the stats. They don't unlock until you've cleared a solo uh, at level 70. And Blackthorn is tr a trash set. So that was the joke part. There's a Blackthorn's a joke. So I see uh, in uh, Seven Dwarfs says in Diablo 3, you have different levels of gear. Primal is top gear with perfect stats, but only can be achieved as, as an R&B after completing level 70 greater rift solo. And then Andy says, uh, I could be wrong, but they're speaking a different language right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. 
So a Andy caught Giratina. Very cool. What is that? Pokemon, a legendary Pokemon. You guys are confusing me. There's so many games, so many different languages. That's Pokemon. Right now. <laughs> that's Pokemon Go. Um, I don't even know. So many of the new Pokemon, I have no idea. Yeah. Who they are. Like we missed out a couple uh, the Pokemon, a couple games. What we played, um, Sun and Moon. There was that character that's like a keychain. I was like, what is this thing? Remember? Which one? You always mean like it was like keys? Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're really getting creative with like these when Pokemon the, like, like when the Pokemon guy was like, we, we ran out of ideas. They're like, hold on a it's second. It's a chandelier. It's <laughs> a pair of keys. Yeah. That's going to be my name. Now. The keys. Oh, okay. The keys. Remember that? Yes. No, yeah, I definitely remember right. that. I see. So uh, uh, GR70 is a few steps higher than a Torment 13 level. So I think that's the Torment uh, difficulty level. Okay. So, um... I like same language, the talk of D3. And Andy said that was a legendary, uh, a, a generation uh, four legendary. Black and yellow oh, ghost cool. dragon. Really cool. Ooh, ghost dragon. That's so oh, awesome. Shadow Knight, have a good night. Thank you for joining us. Have I hope you're night, feeling Shadow well. Knight. And we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> have a good night. Bye. Bye. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yes, you guys are awesome, by the way. You know. Um, Please. This is again our favorite part of the day it is coming on the stream. It was a rough Monday, but I was really looking forward to streaming with you guys and playing some Diablo all day long. So thank you guys for jumping in. Yeah. Chicago, thank you for playing with me because this is really what makes it that much more fun. We, uh, I actually didn't feel good all day today. I had like a, I had a uh, headache. I don't know if I slept weird or didn't sleep good. It's like I, I felt out of it. I've been taking medicine and like trying to rest all day, but couldn't kick it. And then just about maybe like what an hour or two ago, I finally started feeling better. You also um, did your workout, and I think that made did my exercise today. Yeah. yeah, did the workout of the day. So we've been sticking to our workouts. We're the same as far as like we don't like working out, <laughs> but once we do, it really makes such a big difference yeah. and like makes us feel better and more accomplished and like more alive, like more like. I don't know, it just makes you feel better. Yes. The endorphins, is that what it's called? I also, yeah, it's also the accomplishment. Like, I feel like once you're done with the workout of the day, you're like, okay, that's done. I can go do other Did things. Like, good accomplishment. Today. Yeah. So, Andy's saying that those, that, that's from um, Diamond and Platinum. Mm, I've never played those. Those are ones that we haven't, yeah. I actually never finished Moon uh, because when I was, I was playing halfway through Moon when they announced Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and then I felt like. Part of me was like, oh, like, why am I going to finish this if there's going to be, like, a better version of the same game? Then I never got Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so I just, that kind of sat there. So I do have to go back and finish uh, and Pokemon once, Moon. Really, it's like, once the Switch came out, all other priorities went out the window. Again, with uh, Detective Pikachu, I'm really hoping to see a Detective Pikachu that comes out on the Switch. Whoa, that's um, in the middle of the thing. I, I didn't even notice he was there until... Like, in the doorway. I'm, I'm looking at the Tilda Mom and Seven Dwarfs conversation, and it, is, it definitely is like reading a second language. And I can't wait to learn this language. Yeah, slowly we're, we're getting slowly, there. Thanks to you guys for helping us out, we are learning Seriously. the language of it. Um, we know what rifts are now. Yep. We know what... You, we know how much money it costs to really go through all of your diamonds <laughs> and uh, learn that all your the hard gems. Way. My hatred is too low. <laughs> Andy says, it hurts me when I hear people skip Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. They were the first Pokemon games you bought with your own money. Oh, wow. That's I, so cool. Well, I can tell you, I remember I got into Pokemon right when the card game came out. Um, I was in sixth grade when Pokemon really hit. I remember my friend gave me my first Pokemon trading card. Uh, I didn't know what it was. We got the Game Boy games. Uh, I got blue and my brother got red. And like, which I think is funny. Cause I think I, I think I got blue, he got red, but I went with Charmander and he went with um, Squirtle. Oh. So like we were opposite Pokemon from the box. Uh, Cause I like Charmander out of the three. Um, what do you think about the? Is it Charizard? The. Um, in Detective Pikachu. In the, in the trailer. Yeah, I love Charizard. That was he was cool looking in that trailer. It's exactly what you would so imagine cool. a. Imagine if the um, if the Smash version looked like that. Yeah. How cool would that be? 
It was really funny because even even like I remember thinking like man like when I was little I was like I wish Pokemon were real like I would love to be able like if we had actual like you could, you could catch them and train them and stuff. Yeah. And watching the movie I'm like oh that's what it would look like like and some of them do look kind of scary so I'm like okay maybe yeah. it's a good thing Pokemon <laughs> aren't real because. <laughs> well, it's basically animals right? Pokemon are basically animals. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. We had uh last night uh we actually had outside oh, of our. God. Outside of our door, um, a skunk came to our porch. Um, we threw out some like leftover um, like vegetables and stuff we have. We usually chuck it out to the woods. So a skunk was on the porch, looking at the skunk. He comes by and walks by a lot because like I come home. He's very sweet. By the time I come home, it's dark. So I'm usually like driving down the driveway, and he's like doing his little scuttly little cute walk across the driveway. <laughs> but he's really cool. He's at our so he's at our porch. To look back out again, and he's walking around uh, by our porch, and there's a fox right in the woods eating out of the woods. So I'm, I'm looking at the room. I said, "There's a fox. We have a red fox, um, and we have a skunk." And then they both kind of scurry away, and I look over to the left, and a big deer comes walking in from the left, and she usually comes by looking for carrots. So I'm yeah. like, "There's a fox, a deer, and there's a um, uh, um, fox, deer, and skunk." Philia comes over, <laughs> and she goes, "Oh my God!" She goes. The raccoon just showed up. He just like came out of nowhere. So at the in that, so at one point outside our door, we had a skunk, a fox, a deer, and a raccoon. I said, it was, I said if we had a little bit of snow, it would have been a perfect Christmas card. That's essentially what the Christmas yeah. cards are. It was the strangest thing, and then they all just disappear. Like, so I once think they we need to food. start writing like children's books about animals because that just <laughs> sounds like a perfect little like book about animals. <laughs> like Firelight says, it sounds like the beginning of a joke. So a skunk walks onto a porch. <laughs> uh, Seven Dwarfs asked, uh, uh, says, wait till we get the cube and gold rings. Then gold won't be an issue anymore. Oh. Well, you have the cube. You got the cube from, I think, was it Dawn Dragon? I think helped you get the cube. You, ha you do have yeah. the cube. Um, I just don't know what it is yet. Because I just started Act 2, but I had, like, in the um, campaign. Yeah. But I haven't actually gotten a chance to play much of it. Um, I'll probably be doing that soon though. I see. Um, yes, I'm Kix is the skunk villager in Animal Crossing. So we had, we had, um, Kix. we had Kix, we had Tom, Tom Nook, Nook, yeah. we had, uh, uh, Fauna, and we had, what's a fox one? Hmm, I don't think I've ever had a fox come by. <laughs> Firela says you need to have a, uh, you need to walk on the porch and have all the birds land on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta start doing the song, the, um, oh my gosh, Like fox, a deer, and a skunk walk into a bar, raccoon is the bartender, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy's just like cornering me. Okay, I got it. Whew, that was a close one, Chicago. So Lord Drake's asking, do, uh, Lord Drake's asking, do the AC Amiibo do anything in Happy Home Designer? Um, I think they do. I know the cards definitely do, because that's how you could you could tap the cards. But I want to say that you we can tap the figures it. too, though. We tried it. I cannot remember now. Does it do the same thing? I think it's the, the same. I, I want to say it's the same thing. One thing I really thought, which I hated with um, Amiibo Festival. I know everybody hated Amiibo Festival. I, we actually really enjoyed the board game good. part of Amiibo Festival. Cause it was a nice thing for us to kind of relax. Really basic, like you just tap the amiibo, read the story. We took it for what it was, and I yes. think that was the difference. Like we kind of understood, like okay, it's not going to be the game that we patient. wanted it to be, like yeah. the full-fledged Animal Crossing game that we wanted it to be. But we saw it as basically a uh, virtual board game, and which is what we it... really, really enjoyed it. And for us, you know, I, mean, I think it would have done better at first if, they, if it was a free-to-play game with the amiibo as the paywall. Like yeah. if it was free-to-play. Probably would have sold a lot better, um, but for 60 bucks we paid full price for it too at the time. Um, Which was rough because within, I don't know, months it went down in price way down. severely. So, um, but all the other mini games uh, were tragically flawed in that game because you had to, you couldn't use controls, you had to use the cards to tap. So there was the game where you had, with it had three people, it was, well, there was a... Um, Desert Island. Desert Island wasn't bad. Desert Island was awesome. Desert Island was fun. The one, the, uh, oh man, game show. So you have four players, up to four players, and the character you play as in the game show is whoever's card you have that you scanned in. So to, to buzz in, when the question comes up, you have to reach in and tap your card to the amiibo spot on your gamepad, but you have three other people who are also doing that too. So 
you basically have four people jumping forward to slam cards onto, you know, onto the game pad. And I'm like, that's going to ruin so many cards. Yeah. And that's going to just... Especially when at one point they were really hard to find. Yes. So it's like, if you... And they were kind of expensive. They're expensive cards. The... It came into like a dollar a card when you bought the pack. Yeah. So it was like, it's significant if one gets damaged. And, and I thought, like, and I kept thinking, like, it would be easier just to, why can't you just buzz with the controllers? Like, why can't you get a Wii Remote and buzz? Like, you know, why did they forced cards being the thing? It wasn't even the toys. Yeah, because they kind of wanted to make you um, use the have cards. to use the cards. Yeah. Lisa, were... what's going on? Welcome to our chat. Hi, Lisa. How are you? $5 for Amiibo Festival. Yep. It was rough. Even the, the bundle with, um, with Digby and Isabel That's was so cheap. Oh, my gosh. See, uh, Ryan says, anybody else laugh hysterically at the AC Switch announcement when Tom Nook called Isabel and Vi Villager his friends? Or am I just a terrible person? I mean, you don't price gouge your friends and take all their money with your Monopoly. That's true. That's true. Um, oh, Tim's saying he, he did a couple changes. Do you want to try to invite him in real quick? Of course. Let me see right now. Um, invite. Yep. Invite. Okay. I see you're level 22 already. Oh, my gosh. So, Tim, if you can join in, then you could, I guess, go to your banner, right? And then he could warp right to where you are. That would be super cool. Happy if you Monday. Jump in. I tell him, officer, do you have happy a. happy in quotation? I see. Do you have a vault skill unlocked? You should equip that and use it to get out of corners and area ground effects like ice so you don't get frozen. Do you have the vault skill? Vault skill. Passive. Power. I think it's one of your regular ones. Like these? No, up one. I think it's like your move. Oh, is it like the, um, the, what do you call it? The one that you I'm vault forward, probably. Right, the teleportation kind of one? Probably, yeah, because you don't get attached into, like, the icy That's stuff. That's smart. Hello, the mom. You're so smart. Every class has a that. good move skill that they use. Not ready yet. Tim says no luck. That's so weird. Still? That's super weird. Eddie Road Dog, welcome back to chat. Uh, what do you, uh, if you don't, if, I don't know if you can share it, but what are you uh, editing video wise right now? Um, that's one thing we haven't really edited since we've been streaming. There's been yeah. no reason to, we used to have to edit. That was a big part of our, uh, for our YouTube show was editing. But with the streaming, we have not really, like our workflow, the editing has kind of been taken out of the picture. It has. Um, which is, uh, which is nice. <laughs> I do miss it though, like for the creative stuff, uh, editing. Uh, we used to have a lot of fun with. That's the vault, I think. Oh, but, but Ryan, absolutely. I did. I, back to what you were saying, uh, harsh truths with Ryan. I did. It was funny that he does refer to him as friends. I like that. A price you wouldn't price gouge your friends. We, we <laughs> felt price gouged paying 60 bucks for Amiibo Festival when it turned to five, you know, not too long later. Yeah. But Tim's saying it's evidently a problem with a lot of people. Yeah, last week when we were playing, we were having the same problems, too. Um, they just kept, kept saying the same thing with the error. It's weird. It's in, it really doesn't sure give why. you, um, doesn't give you, like, uh, it's like having that general error in the editing program. Yeah. So it's like, general error. Doesn't tell you how to fix it. Oh, Eddie, okay, so you, you're you learning how Adobe Premiere works so you can make content. You unbox oh, awesome. the Super Smash Brothers Switch bundle. Very jealous of your Super Smash uh, uh, Super Smash Brothers Switch bundle, by the way. Um, we actually use Premiere, too. We, um, we started with Final Cut, um, and then when we upgraded our equipment, we ended up getting Premiere um, to edit off of. And uh, ever since we started the Super Mario, um, our spoof commercial, our serial parody oh, yeah. commercial, was the first thing we edited Premiere on. with Premiere. And we were learning it from scratch. We knew like basic editing functions um, from editing with Final Cut, but it's so tough to relearn a new program. You're pretty much learning how everything works and where and which button does this now and. Uh, At least learning your curve. basic editing skills are the same, like are transferable. It's just a matter of how to get things done. Yes. Like you know how, what you want to do, it's just figuring out how to actually do it. And what's nice is that we've been, um, like, like thankfully there's YouTube and stuff. So we look it up ourselves, like how to do this or where to yeah, find definitely. this. So it really helps. Even I've been teaching myself lately how to draw on the, um, with like a drawing pad. Um, I finally bought one for myself, and I've been trying. I've been learning how to use it. And basically, if I have any questions, I just jump onto YouTube, 
and there is a video on how to do a certain thing, you know, so it's been super, super helpful. What difficult, uh, Dwarf wants to know what difficulty are you running right now? I believe You're we're an expert. Expert. Let me have a look. Yep, we're an expert. Of course, cool. so Ryan used Final Cut Pro X, really cool. Oh, nice. We, um... We wanted to upgrade to X. I've had I had a copy of Final Cut Pro Six since I was in community college. Um, our we the guy who um, the assistant in the in the video gave it out to everybody. They had like the um, well I guess the educate the educate uh, the educator version. FTA? Yes. So we all had a copy from him, uh, and we just never changed. Like so, we've been using six when seven came out, once eight. I mean I don't know there wasn't an eight or what there. Even though like even though it was really tough because um, a lot of the everything uh, was like super outdated and the files were starting to change closer to the end so it was like really tough to get anything done yes it was um but luckily we were so grateful because our friend actually um i'm still waiting gifted us a copy of uh premiere so because for a while we tried the um we did the cloud the trial, the, the trial version. Yeah, but that was only like a week or something. Um, but now we have like an older version of Premiere that works really well. And Eddie, absolutely. You said you, you're going to keep going on your free time to learn, but basic videos are fun to do. It takes time. It's satisfying at the end. It really is. It's so cool when you export a video and you sit back and you have that like, I made this feeling to yeah. it. You know, we always... Um, it's frustrating for us like when it doesn't work out like when you spend all that exporting a big video And then it's like the wrong file size or the colors are off But when you get it right, it feels so good. It looks awesome to have like a final um, edited version um, Our computer was you know, at the time it took us forever to export like we we're doing like, the highest quality settings oh gosh, it forever. It leave it on leave, leave the computer on it was overnight to export um, but luckily um, It's not a problem anymore yeah, we've been so close really, to finish it. really loving streaming because it's the Rift Guardian is here. here. Oh my gosh. Panic! <laughs> oh, here he is. Okay. Oh boy. Oh nice boy. dodge. Oh boy. Nice dodge. Oh, Chicago died. Oh my god, Chicago, where are you? I can't do this without you, Chicago. Oh no! I can't do this without you! <laughs> Lisa, you saw it. When you say, oh, uh, Chicago's back, by the way. Lisa oh. said, you saw Ooh. Smash at Target today. You know, you already have a Switch, you were tempted. I feel you on that. Even with the Pokemon one, um, I think it looks awesome seeing Pikachu and Eevee on the um, dock. Like, I really, if we didn't have Switches already, I'd be getting one of those two bundles. But the fact that we already have our Switches. Um, you know, especially with them talking about a possible, um, you know, upgraded switch coming out next year, uh, we're gonna hold off. But um, if we're able to ever, like, you know, do a trade in or something or get uh, a boy kind of a dock, I would trade in our dock for towards another dock. So he's blocking your door. Oh, nice. I had him like kind of cornered in, in there for a while. I was doing that, like sneaking it a little bit. <laughs> It is really Gotta tempting. Trap in there a little bit. Ooh. This guy. Okay, we almost got him though. We almost got him. Be careful. Oh, your health back up. Good. Yeah. Hey, tag team. <laughs> we got this team. Chicago. I'm so, so glad you're back. That was like making me really nervous that you were gone for a while. <laughs> Nice. Almost there. That is so good. You guys are so close. Keep hitting, keep hitting. Oh, this dude is crazy. Okay, he's almost dead. Almost done for. You got it. I need more time. Yes, Whoa, congratulations, guys. Chicago! <laughs> we did it. Look at all that good stuff. Yee! I like that we just like run around in the circle. We did it! Victory lap! <laughs> <laughs> so that's just you could go back and talk to Oric Speak in town. To Oric. Okay, cool. Shall we get out of here? I think so. Travel. <laughs> Chicago says that was fun. Firelight's going woo! Woo woo! Awesome. We did it.
Now okay, we go. Okay, okay, okay. You I'm did the same here. thing? <laughs> I'm still waiting. I'm out of here. You gotta warp back. Okay, I'm just gonna hide in that corner and warp out of here. Good job. Oh, this guy got me. Okay, okay. Hide in the corner and warp. <laughs> We did it, Chicago! I love that you did the same thing last time. You ran off I know. And then... I keep thinking, like, there's a chest or something that I can get. Okay, let's see. That's all the money I made? Let me talk to Auric. Come on, Auric. Where are you? My stomach Where is Auric? Strange. Uh, did you forget to eat again? To the right. Black smash point, I think. Is that you, Auric? Your trial is complete. Right. 16,000 gold. I feel like I definitely did not make as much money on that one. I don't know why. I don't know. But I'm still glad I got lots <laughs> of good um, <laughs> jewels and stuff. I like Lord Drake saying, pay up Auric. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that money, Auric. Tim, what's your suggestion? Chicago said because it was only two of you. You had more oh. before. Because that was okay. that multiplayer bonus, right? That, yeah, so the last time there was more, was. so you got more gold. Okay. I like that, that they reward you for having more people in your party. That's a really cool thing. It's not Thank like Thank you... you for explaining that. I appreciate it. Because you were disappointed. I was so disappointed. Last time I had 100 pounds <laughs> to just spend on the jewels. So I will encourage all of our winners from um, our amazing Diablo giveaway, uh, all courtesy of Blizzard. Please come back and join us next time yes. because we need to have a bunch of people in here so we can make some more money. Okay? I like that. <laughs> so you want to uh, you want to sign off I for the night? We'll, I think we'll call that a night. Thank you so much, Chicago, for playing. That was super fun. Yes. Um, and uh, again, a big, big, big shout out to Rex of Couple Lumps. Thank you, Rex, yes, for helping us so fix much. our stream. Because now we don't need to rush out and buy a brand new computer um, that we don't have the money for right now. Yes. So we don't have we to really, like really worry about that. that. Um, for some reason, our stream messed up just once, but that um, luckily was just Maybe that was plugging something it with Elgato, yeah. Yeah, so. And until the mom is teasing me, 1.5 billion gold. <laughs> so lucky. I'll get there one day. <laughs> Thank you for all the help. I really appreciate it. So uh, Jim says, uh, Tim says, if you, if you can craft a level 70 weapon at the blacksmith, you can roll the secondary stats to lower the minimum required and use far more powerful weapons earlier that's a good that's a good thing a good strategy to if kind of cheat the system a level 70 weapon at the blacksmith okay we'll let's, try to we'll do let's that. see if you can craft that i will try to figure out how to do that um so guys tomorrow we're gonna be playing we'll announce it on twitter it's gonna be a double stream nindy um most likely tomorrow is going to be um trailblazers yes. and another game so then to, if that's the case tomorrow we'll have three copies of trailblazers Bye. to give away on our stream uh, same way as usual, just follow us and be active in our chat. We'll roll three times and you get the, it, it doesn't come out until, I think physically it comes out tomorrow, but digitally it comes out. I think I have digitally comes out the 15th on Thursday. Thursday. So you will get the game early. So you'll have the game before it launches. Yeah. Uh, so three people will be able to, um, and maybe play with us. Yes. And Chicago saying, uh, what was the magazine we came out on? It's switch player magazine. I will put it in our chat real quick. Um, and if you, um, if you still want to get like a copy, obviously you can get the new copies, but if you wanted to get a copy from last month, the feature that it's right there that in the we're thing. in, you could totally go and get that as well. Yes. Um, so, so and then on Thursday, uh, we'll do another, I mean, on Wednesday, we'll do another Nindy's double stream. Thursday, we'll be figuring it out based on our event maybe um, and work I'll schedule. Maybe I'll be doing a solo stream on Thursday, and, and then maybe you'll be doing I'll be, a solo stream on Most Friday. likely, I'll be doing Pokemon Friday as a solo stream, and Saturday, we might be doing a, um early Splatfest, hopefully oh, with yeah, a couple of Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. So, so it's all great stuff happening. A lot of great stuff this week, so guys, so thank you all for joining us tonight. Congrats thank to you. the winners of our magazine, to the four winners. We'll be sending them out this week. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Switch Player Magazine for sending those to us. Yes. For, uh, for and us And for Jonathan for interviewing us. Yes. Jonathan had a really awesome interview. Absolutely. <laughs> and and also extra copies so we can give away to our amazing Yes, which chat is really awesome. Viewers. Really appreciate that. And thank you to Blizzard for sending us Diablo. We have been loving it. Yes. And <laughs> if I do a solo stream, maybe I'll play Diablo. I've Probably. I've been really, really enjoying it. <laughs> So, guys, remember, as always, gaming is better together. together. So, until next time, guys, thanks, thanks for, watching. for watching. Have a good night. Have Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye, guys.
Thank you.